Ah, hello, wonderful. You caught the dab. Ah, oh, great. What a good start to the year. <sighs> Hi there, everyone. I am Dragon Joe Katz, and I'm your beloved host for Dragon Screw D and D. With me tonight are some wonderful people as we come into 2019. Hashtag New Year, New Me, New Memes. Yes, new memes, not new me. Same old, same old dragons. Brand new memes coming your way. Anti dabs. Anti dabs, I tell you. We are getting back on the bullshit. bandwagon. Yeah, exactly. It's bullshit. No more dabs for Robbie in 2019, eh? <laughs> no more dabs ever. No dabs have ever been. And no dabs will ever will be. Robbie, no evidence. No. Um, no dabs ever. Except in your soul. <laughs> Isn't that right? Dabs since 2018. Never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, classic. Oh, I can't believe you're right there. Look up. You're right. It's just you. It's it was just thought. perfect timing. Shining light, spotlight, and I was like, of all. Like, <laughs> I, I feel like magic was a part of that. I feel like I was controlled by the devil. Yep. The devil you was were. you. <laughs> you were quite you the devil of the you're quite well influenced <laughs> it wasn't a full dab i still say it wasn't a full dab but my body took it over was. and i went with it yeah so wayne tell us a little bit about your character as well as we introduce our first um, uh, okay. play for sandstorm the lovely sandstorm desert legend um bright candle king of um bloody i'm having a massive what? Where? Mazro. Think of Mazro. Lord of River, River Guard. I was going to write all these down. I was, just, I was right. listening to the whole. I did we, a bright candle. Bright candle's been done. Hold on. Did you know? Did you know that you could actually go into, you could go into a town or a city and hire a squire to call out these names for you, introducing you wherever you go. Uh, I'm sure we can afford it as well, right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> We'll throw it in with the reconstruction of the keep costs. Yeah, we'll send you the bill. Yeah, we'll send, yeah, we'll send the bill. <laughs> with us also tonight is uh, Boneweave playing mm -hmm. Casimir. Yeah, um, Luke playing Casimir, the Tiefling Wizard. Um, just had a nice year time skip, and uh, my arm is now five tentacles, so that's cool and sticky. And, yeah. and we just brought uh, Belvin back from the dead. How did he die, I wonder? Hmm. Hmm. How did you die, Belvin? Yes, yeah, so why don't you... Yes, uh, <laughs> BM Kofi, tell us a little bit about yourself, your character. <laughs> how he died so the and what happened. Um, I'm Brad playing Belvin, the... Dragonborn Paladin. Um, Dragonborn? How? How did that happen? Uh, so, Belvin fell uh, facing the Void Dragon that terrorized our keep. Um, and then got resurrected into a Dragonborn by these guys. You're welcome. And I wonder who did that resurrecting? Who was that wonderful angelic person that was so kind to bring you back, bring you back a new body for your soul to go back in? Oh, let's see. I think it was Probod. Hello. The Pro is I'm Rob playing as Ikram, who is kind of kind of an Asimir druid now. As I lost all of my angel abilities because Kyle is a jerk. That's my reasoning. I gave you plots, <laughs> and I take it the plot. <laughs> no, it's because I tried to. Was it unlock another god plate? I think it was. You tried and, and failed hard. And failed, and bad and things happened. That's what. That's what happened. So now I'm just a druid. And now those are locked, just are locked away from you <laughs> by a spectral barrier of golden flames. But that's something to deal with later. We have more urgent things to deal with in our game of Dragon's Brew D&D. &D. Let's jump straight into the action, shall we? Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
thank you. Uh, uh, so, the keep was destroyed last night by an attack of a neverwing dragon this creature from the void after doing after a harsh battle with the dragon it ended up destroying the majority of your keep but luckily so you managed to uh protect a lot of the folk who reside and live around the keep and in its settlement of riverguard as you fended off the dragon, unfortunately, Belvin was uh, stomped to death after the dragon uh, bit in and dealt and sunk its void like teeth deep into his uh, stomach. The dragon also took the black dragon helm from his person and threw it into a extra dimensional space. <clears throat> mm. the dragon claiming what was his brethren and successful in its mission then begin to flew away back into the void back into the astral space of nothing upon searching around the keep you found uh, Demac Demacus had perished after trying to uh, protect uh, one of the children of one of the families that live within the, uh, live within the settlement, although the boy was safe, uh, Harold and his uh, stepfather, Colvin, Colvin Bronson, your smithy, was protected by uh, his body as well. However, he had quite the large uh, beam of wood through his shoulders. You also found that the stale. Uh, stairwell of the keep this secret stairwell that led down to the hidden landing that then goes into the cavern below where the majority of people had become held up safe tucked away from the attack had collapsed after a suckle on a water bottle <laughs> <laughs> With that suckle of the water bottle, they yeah. found that their uh, cleric friends. Did you make fixes? You know, I made the fixes, man. I have no idea what happened, but I made it. Welcome, Kent. How you doing, mate? Mwah. That was just for you. Enjoy. Yes, the stairwell had collapsed down onto him as he was trying to uh, make his way down. In the main hall as well, the uh, when the dragon had uh, crashed its tail through the stonework and through the wall of great strength, uh, it caused the balcony and uh, uh, left-hand side stairwell to fall and collapse, burying Brom in the rubble below. He held an arrow of dragon slaying, which he was going to fetch for sandstorm, but it was too slow. In the stump mark, where Belvin was finished off, Casimir, Sandstorm, and Ikram uh, dragged him away and tried to stabilize him, but as Casimir and Sandstorm were a bit too panicked, making sure the rest of the keep was okay, uh, Ikram was the one to first realize that he was dead. He was able to do something about it, but not till he was able to uh, commune with nature and gather the right materials for a reincarnation spell. Thus, thus the party party rested in the wake of their defeat. They held a ceremony to recreate Belvin's torn body and call back his soul, in which they were successful in doing so. Belvin has now come to as a what is it, six seven dragonborn of matte black scales, horns that proceed out the uh, out of the temples just above the uh, earbuds. A curl around his face. Breath smells very acidic like. The celebration was short lived, however, as Alton uh, came to you both, came to you all, presenting a rider from Daggerford. 
on this winter's afternoon, just a few days out from spring, uh, this writer calls for the bannerman of under Lady Morwen Daggerford to answer the call of aid. As Daggerford is on the cuffs of a flight of dragons. And which was followed by a incredibly loud, almost that you could feel it in your bones. This loud reverberation through the world. That then pushed all the animals to uh, fall silent. The griffin atop the keep cowered in fear as a sound uh, emanated through the rest of the world. Ikram, you grew completely uneased by this. This low toned boom that continued for a straight minute until passing. You're gathered in the in the treasure trove room to deal with the newly resurrected oh, newly reincarnated Belvin and the situation at hand with the destroyed river guard and this apparent flight of dragons. Now I open my story up to my players for them to tell. What do you want to do? Um, well, <clears throat> Belvin, after hearing that, uh, going to go back into his room and uh, go... <laughs> and Close forget about it. <laughs> go on holiday. Um, and um, start gathering up his gear. Belvin... Gear. So does Belvin still have his armor, but his shield's gone now, right? His shield's gone. His armor doesn't fit him anymore. It's the majority of, uh, as it was made for his human size and frame. Hmm. Yes. Do we... We don't have any, like, magic armor, do duct we? Duct tape. <laughs> it's alright. Um, I'll, I'll just... Magic duct tape. String together, just bits of clothing that kind of fit me um, as is uh, grab my long sword and great sword um, and my bracer um, and what's your AC at the moment 16 ah. yep. 16 with no armor on yes he has a higher AC than I do, and I'm wearing armor. Oh. As Belvin goes to reach for, reach for a shield, seeing that his uh, dread wall is not there, the shield gets forcibly forcibly removed from your arm, and then you see this... Uh, what color did we call it again? Um, I don't think we really decided on a color. Uh, how about like a, um, a light... Smoky gray color. As from the uh, static burst that sends the shield across the room, you send this. You see this black smoky gray spectral form of a larger dragon claw that nearly incorporates the size of um, a kite shield. Yeah. All the claws kind of face down together. R roughly around where his um, elbow is. Yeah, you see the edge. Uh, top of a kite shield that goes down to like a point that goes out to like a spectral claw over his hand and it's like ooh, all the better for oh. shield bashing you feel that little bit of essence <laughs> of uh really you, good for punching call that call that forward as if it's always going to be there now that essence yeah. of uh black razor yep and the dread wall um and yeah so i'll just Grab what I can, really, and whatever I, whatever gear I can kind of put on. 
it's kind of hard as you've gone into your bedroom as well um because ikram casimir and sandstorm at this current time do share a room uh the wall that looks out onto the courtyard is no longer there and the door's also been broken down ikram's bed's been destroyed ikram's bed <laughs> I don't need a bed. I was gonna say I'm surprised he even slept in sleeping it. outside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you know you knew it was never really never used. Slept in. Yeah. Um the cleanest bed of all good destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, if song gets lonely, he ends up in that bed. Hmm. Well doesn't Sandstorm like sleep in the big it's yep. the master bedroom. Yeah, the super duper room. The room with no doors. Doesn't have a door. That's, That's right. what you think. It has a he has to climb through the windows every night. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he got that room. No one else could get in. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> no one else quiet for a reason. <laughs> Sandstorm. What's, what's everyone you else through doing? Through the window. <laughs> This this rider has made his way all the way from Dagford. He is wearing the uh, the yellow uh, the tunics of well the colours of Dagford. Uh, yes. Yellow, maroon, and a light grey is on his tabard. Uh, Chainmail lies underneath it with, with a tri uh, uh, just an everyday sh uh, dress shirt underneath. Short sword at his hip. Mm -hmm. And his horse uh, is outside the castle walls. As he's huffing and puffing, Alton brings him uh, an or a uh, little sack of wine for him to, a uh, wineskin to just drink on upon and just goes, <sighs> Morn's calling for all bannermen. Taking the fence against passing flight if they come near. From the diviners. Priest believes the one's already making their way towards towards the town. Riders have been sent to Bowshot, Sakomba, and a couple of a couple of others have been sent to the estates out and around in the fields. Is that directly to me, or is that to someone else? Directly to you. Am oh, I like? Man. Am I not in my room? I was gonna say. You... No, you, you, this is unless you've moved from where um, after. Belvin and I. Uh, this is guys... before Belvin went to his room. This is before Belvin. Yeah. Went to his room. Or during. And well, and well, I mean, after hearing that, that's when Belvin went to his room to get prepared. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. He's ready to arm himself for this. Thank you for the information. I will talk to my brother. Go to the go to the kitchen. What's his What's the chef's name again? It's been too long. Ramsey. <laughs> Ramsey will fetch you something to get you more energy to run back and then defend with us. Alton, Alton looks up at looks up at this man and goes, "You're right, Tannic. Come on, Ramsey's a good chef. More wine in there too for you." And a little halfling yeah. in a trench coat takes the uh, man in the colours of Dagford. Can I give this around. guy a tip? Is that what you do? I want to give this guy a tip. A tip. <laughs> Thanks for the mate. You are literally standing in your treasure <laughs> hoard tower. Yeah, I literally <laughs> just gonna flick him like a coin. We're going to just be chatting in our treasure tower with some random dude. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's what I think it's saying. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> How did he even get in here? He's like, How did he even get in here? He's, he's just he's outside. Getting, he's, he's just outside. He's not inside, so <laughs> you're, you're like, he's addressing you while you're. We're, in the, we're in the currently door. inside here. Okay, okay. I'll be out here. Oh, I can't. There we go. I'll pretend I'm outside next to Elton. I'm like, I'll flick him a coin and then. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tell him we're going to give as much men as we can. We also have to defend the keep. You hear at that moment the griffin up ahead just squawk and just... Oh, fuck. They towards hit. the... Uh, towards this direction. The bear can see it. No, the bear can see it. pointing. Uh, that way. <laughs> can I call out Tilly to go have a look? By this time, my Griffin has awesome like leather armor, right? Plate mail. Griffin? No. Plate mail Do Griffin. Does not. Does not. <laughs> it looks like the Griffin's like off um, Warcraft Three. All right. 
If if you on your Griffin have cool leather armor, you can yeah. uh, minus five hundred gold. Fantastic! Sounds good, hey guys. Straight from the treasury. I don't know. Straight out of the your treasury, mate. Out your pocket. Out of you. You're gonna. I don't have any. I got zero right. dollars in my pocket. All right, mate. That's, uh, <laughs> you know, you know what my Albert needs. Twelve percent interest rate. On that. Yeah, Wait, uh, Albert. Well, everyone needs armor. armor. Everyone right needs. You get armor. You get armor. <laughs> So Actually, yeah, uh, I don't even I don't even know how much gold I had on me originally because that was all. That I haven't picked up any gold all. since I lost it all. It all melted to your body when we reincarnated you. Well, well, te <laughs> technically that'd be that'd be kind of cool. Well, technically, you would have spelt a fuck ton of gold if if we were using materials for stuff like that. So yeah, you would have yeah. used a fuck ton of materials. We would have used gold though. We used like shitty material. <laughs> 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 you don't use that good you know, material on you. No, you material is worth diamond. your body, but not worth money. That makes sense. You would have been. You would have bought diamonds. Really? That's so you actually you have to do that. Just for resurrection. Ah, oh, yeah, right, diamonds. Reincarnations are different. Did we even oh, have diamonds? Oh yeah, reincarnates different materials. Oh yeah. yeah anyway, right. I have re yeah, anyway, I have reincarnation now, don't I? Like it's back. True resurrection. It's been twelve months. And True it's resurrection false. won't happen. Uh, won't be available till the first, until the twenty fourth of the first month of spring. Dragon Ball. So, 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 so about a, a month away. <laughs> Let's not do days. anything until then. Okay. Yeah, just hold out. Everyone, stay in their room. Just don't die for a month. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna say by this time, uh, Belvin's probably got his shit ready. Yeah, I'm pretty has, sure. Right? Not by this time. This is like remember, this is seconds. Like, We've had this conversation. Yeah, I know, and I feel like this has gone way too long. This is how it You happens. guys to have done nothing. We're warming up, guys. <laughs> so, oh, I've told this guy to get dinner, and now I want to decide. To left us, the adorable now. flies over to Casimir and plants on his on his shoulder and, and looks at the arm um, and just like. I just think to Tilly, can you um, fly towards Daggerford and? Uh, return back if you see the dragons. And goes, flaps off into the air. Um, the friendly about this, you know that a pseudo dragon can roughly r fly and, and keep pace with most riding horses. Yeah, that's pretty quick. So, and Dagford's about a two hour fly away. Yeah. But, like, if she could see dragons in the distance. That'd be pretty far off. Yeah, Depending you know that she's got, Yeah, you know she's got a real limited telepathy of 120 feet as well. Within a mile, you can if it's familiar, you can share sensors within a mile. Ah, uh, okay. So it's a bit I, further. It's a bit. It is. Yeah, it is a bit further. So she's going to. She's going to be under the orders. to keep within the range of a mile. Yeah. Can um, in this time. I assume um, some just random soldier will sound the sound the bell. Yep. So we already because like, we implemented that ages ago. So I'm sure many, that person, uh, someone run up and buddy, ding ding. But, yeah. Avarice. How many guards have we got at the moment? Just say everyone's on board. That would fucking shit about to go down. So we would have done a head count, but we yeah. did do a head count basically after. The dragon yeah. attack. In, yeah, in the dragon attack, you didn't lose too many guys because you were able to, able to, you had the time to get everyone down and out of the way. Yeah. Um, you only lost one, really. Yeah. You only you only lost. And our priest. <laughs> and your priest. Uh, yeah. Uh, Aranus does. Easy recruited now. This guy's a guard. Aranus actually has a cowbell in his hand. Um, and is using it to basically go around just bring it uh banging around being like uh telling everyone to take care and take caution uh and prepare for the worst dragons are around unless you have any other orders for him to shout and yell hmm. what how many <laughs> do we get a number on the, the guards how many we have uh, what was in the in the dock? One million. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're only fifty thousand. 
You're only down about three. Hold on. 300. You're only lost three guards. The whole escapade. So when the bell goes, I assume by their training, everyone's training, everyone starts arming up and waking up and buddy. Yeah. Doing I mean, stuff. it's it's only it's only mid afternoon, around pro- roughly about three o'clock. Um, Casimir could tell you. Uh, but the night shift people will be sleeping, right? Do we do that? Is that what well, we do? The night shift people were all, all the night and day shift people were working up. So some people are trying to get back on that schedule. Some uh, are yeah. trying to rest by uh, between nightfall. You still got Osha, Cyrus, Nicor, Bag and Nails, uh, Samuel. Um, a lot of your NPCs who are now uh, beginning to converse about uh, what this could all mean. Yeah. Um, so we had 12 guards by those numbers. I don't know if they increased over the time skip. Yeah, change it to 24, then minus 3. Okay. So did you say that, <clears throat> who was it that could see a mile away? Or just over a mile away? Tilly, my, the pseudo dragon, my familiar. Oh, as in they can, so, they can see or they just sense? No, I can share sensors with them within a mile. Ah, oh, gotcha. I was like, who's that? Is that you, Belvin, this character? I was like, who the fuck's that in the kitchen? <laughs> I'm just wondering if I could, like, eagle yeah, form yeah, that's and me. just go and oh. scouting or something. Alright. You want to go into <laughs> eagle, eagle form and so, start flying now? Oh, just as in, like, because I reckon I could get... Because I can get further than a mile pretty fast. But we don't like, want to split up if we're going to defend the town. Well, is it... So what did she find at a mile? It's going to take her two hours to fly there. Well, an hour to fly there. Yeah, that's a fair way. Like, it's two okay. hours to Daggerford. Like, riding. Maybe I can send out an animal or something to come, like, scout and see what they come back. You know, different direction. Towards Daggerford. What was it? But I mean... Um, either, I'm just going to mute my microphone and... <laughs> But either way, we've been summoned to um, assist Daggerford, yeah. which is what we've promised to do once if we got called. So we definitely don't want to leave our place unguarded. It's uh, pretty bad timing. I think we should it take is. half our guards with us, leave the tieflings and uh, um, yeah, leave all Aranus. I think here to defend everyone. Yeah, we can yeah, leave. Uh, bring, uh, bring half our guards. Yeah, definitely. We'll leave some elite players like strings and stuff. Bag we'll leave the tieflings so because they have plot armor. Yeah. Um, Except for the Magus. Oh yeah, the Magus is fucking dead. But yeah, the the, tief- the tieflings and um, Bag oh, now. So uh, Bag now, who's claws on strings? That's the other Tavaxi, right? Yeah, that's, that's claws on strings. The bard yeah. one. That okay. was. Uh, I was listening to bag- it today, and I just got my head caught. Cool. Bag of nails, claws on strings. Yeah. Sandstorm. <laughs> yeah, what ridiculous names. <laughs> fucking cats. <laughs> Here. So, so uh, where's your? Um, I'm gonna call myself dirt on ground. Is he here? Is that is Corporal Strings here? Is that yeah, just? That's him right there. Yeah. Um, what about your old mate Ikram? Um, oh, did we actually have him? She's here? probably the best of the, the. She's probably the top one of the top tiers at the moment. We can leave here. Osa, Osa, ba- uh, bag of nails. That'd be pretty good. To, bag of nails would be stronger than. Osa, wouldn't he? Yeah, but I mean, Osa would be in the top four, you'd think, at the moment, if we left him here. Give me well, a second, mate. We'll definitely leave him. Because I reckon yeah. they'd probably be like they, Yeah, we can't just take everyone that's good. And then just, we... I would say just um, us and then half our guards. And then yeah, yeah. Everyone else. They pretty much have a good party with Cyrus and Samal and Osa and all that. We could. Where we're going, are we trying to get there like really fast or are we trying I to think we should all go, go on... there with... We could go early. a decent amount of like... Um, force. I don't know. Do you want to go early? Ask for go early on flying. No. I'm just wondering if I should no. take Anki. No, I'd say, Anki... I'd say um, if we quickly round Thank up you. half the guards now. Be I think um, Osa is pretty be. much Anki's. Anki's pretty much Osa's now, I think, Rob. No, it already is. But uh, Osa mean... and Anki are like, still they're, like a, they're like dominant force. Let's rent it out. You, you tell me how, how my, uh, Mate, my she's already passed, passed you. She's passed you already. <laughs> 
I'm so, just saying, if we want to take something like a fucking wrecking ball, you could take eight. Oh, uh, yeah. But we don't want to break. The, it's getting attacked. We don't have to break and, into um, it. We're, we're fighting dragons. <laughs> I don't know how the... Anki's going to... Yeah. Okay, so, I can launch Anki at oh. dragons. So, Melvin, while you're on it. Yes. You remember from the night before, before getting squished, uh, as the Neverwing dragon was... Uh, basically within and had crushed down on the central building. You remember uh, most of the debris or from underneath it around the stables also had horses in it. Some of them were screaming in pain. Some of them looked quite well crushed. I mean, uh, it's, it's really that point. Have... Huh? It's at that point you realize you probably don't have any alive horses. Oh, fuck. We're gonna we only be, had one. We're going to be... We had a few. We end up having a few. Uh, we're going to have to make this trip on foot. Um, which, is it two hours on foot or is it longer? Turns into four hours on foot. Four hours. So... How many people could no, Anki take? Three hours on foot. Then the whole city would be fucked, wouldn't it? Okay. How many people could Anki ride on? Uh, three oh, people. Sorry. Three people. <laughs> three people could ride on Anki. Uh, so Anki you guys, you guys solid. do know, you uh, guys do know that there are some, like the townsfolk in and around the area of Bagford do have horses. You know that uh, uh, there are two cats at the gatehouse. Uh, some of the other uh, merchants within town also have uh, horses, but they're more for uh, the use of uh, cart and wagons. What? A horse is a horse. Um, Aranus is one of the like captains, isn't it? Yes. Of our guards. Um, can I turn to Aranus and be like, um, muster up half our guard. We'll be taking them to Daggerford uh, when they're all ready. Tell them to meet out outside, which was our front gate. We'll meet them there. Um, he looks you up and down, just taking a look and taking this new form just not a custom because of course of course Belvin we at once and then he gives you, gives you a bit of a nod and goes oh make sure we have some horses from the merchants and he, then he looks over your shoulder and says James uh, tell um, George to get with us and you see um, James just like turn to George and just like and, and use sign language to tell him hey Hey! Hi, Tyrant Games. Thank you for the raid. And also, thank, thank you for really nice for the donation. Thank you for the raid. We appreciate it. Each boy gets three nat 20s it's because I didn't say hello. Oh my yeah. god, that's Thank amazing. Thank you so much for reading a note. Let's, right, let's, let's make, make this a weekly thing. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> oh, don't do that again. Yeah, please. Thank you for the raid. Love you all. Thank you. Here you go. Has some dragons who also do a bit of a shout. Thank oh, you so much. Are you, are you being assaulted by notifications? It's wonderful. It's wonderful. My ears. Oh no. How oh, do you have it? It's just like. <sighs> what? Because uh, on my end, it's re it sounds really good. It's just like really. Must like, be OBS. Maybe. Yeah. I, I got uh, it. Zoom. My... Oh, Zoom, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well. Um, um, uh, before he goes, uh, it, it's just like. Melvin's going to take a handful of, of gold. Probably like. I did it. 50, 50 gold and give them to Aranus and he's like if we're gonna if we're gonna take the merchant's horses compensate them looks like you guys uh, of course of course this would be an easy easy down payment for a couple but thank you I'll get on it straight away you too with me and he goes off run through um he could probably yeah he disappears off with uh George James making their way uh, yep. through the game grounds. Um, I'm going to go up to Osa and ask her if I can take Anki, and I'm taking Anki. <laughs> there was a comma there. Uh, 
Can Re- Enki I, take two people? As you come three. In, fuck yeah, I'm on the back. I'm holding on to it. Do you remember that time? You remember that time? You his head, I You well, have your gr- own pets. We're on the griffin. Okay. Yeah, the griffin flies and the griffin doesn't want to be weighed down. <laughs> you put him <laughs> around The griffin on. can't carry Enki. <laughs> yeah, can, we put us on Enki and then we'll put Enki on the griffin. <laughs> <laughs> Triple death. Just airdrop the tank. <laughs> I have had no control over this Yeah, group. like, imagine <laughs> the griffin gonna hold on to the Yankee and drop it from above. Fucking hell, that, that'd be a big old griffin. Space Yankees. Space Yankees. Space Yankee. <laughs> There's okay. not gonna be much left of it afterwards. No. No, just cast Death Forward on him. He'll be yeah, fine. He to polymorph into a whale. Space yeah, Yankee. Yankee. Fuck the rules. <laughs> but yeah, fuck, oh, I can open my window now. Mm. So... so yeah, is that is that yeah. cool with Osa? As you come on in, Osa looks at you and goes, oh, so what's what's happening? The bells are ringing, everything's going, hey, well, we don't know what's happening. We've got to go to, forgotten the name already, starts with Daggerford. D, Daggerford. And we're not sure what we're going to run into, and I'm wondering if I can borrow Anki for a bit. Yes, let, let me come with you. Let me fight. Let me help. <laughs> We're leaving her here, aren't we? Yeah, we need defense. Say you're all like meeting. the best. They're like, I'm we, just need say, leave we're leaving. we need to leave some people like, here to defend. Strong yeah, people. Leave. I'm going to say, we'll leave you here. Carl's got someone creeping in behind them. No. The door. No, it's just my, a ghost. My balcony. Oh, that's a cool breeze spot. So I'm just going to leave that here and everyone can deal with the fact that I have the door. My balcony. It, looks kind of like, like it looks like the staircase, like the lock for Harry Potter. On the staircase. <laughs> that's how he locks people in <laughs> that's there. That's his room. <laughs> Kyle is actually Harry Potter. <laughs> I am the Harry Potters. <laughs> <laughs> Harry I am the Harry, Harry Potter. I'm the Harry Doors. Um, and I'll just, yeah, so I'll just say, we're going to leave, we're going to take a few people and we're going to try and leave some people who can actually hold their own here and you're one of those people. So yeah. I need you. You made the cut. Uh, she she yeah. looks, she looks at you like a, a little disappointed that she can't join, but then is, uh, it's dawns on her the, the responsibility that's being pushed onto her in, at this moment. She looks around to, to Samuel, Cyrus, and Nicole, who are listening in on the conversation. And Bag and Nails um, looks at you and goes, Do not worry. Anyone that will come here will taste my annals. Oh, oh, nice. Take care. And I'll just turn and skedaddles. Yeah, out of there. So... Um, anybody else doing any last minute preparations? Just gotta get Anki. I'll summon uh, a horse. Yeah, uh, real quick, I want to um, go down to our uh, holding cells. Let's see our movement speed on a horse. Uh, 60 feet. I believe. Uh, no more riding I might horse. leave now because Anki's in 30. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he'd be like Sherlock any Holmes, faster yeah. than us walking. I knew he wouldn't. <laughs> I'll be like Sherlock Holmes on the little midget horse. He's just like somehow getting just ahead of everyone. Give a potion of speak. Do we have that? Oh, actually, I might. <sighs> I have a potion of climbing. <laughs> Give an ale climb up. <laughs> climb the sky. It'd be good if you're climbing up something. <laughs> but you're not climbing land. But what are we going down paths or are we like the path to Daggerford? Is it a direct route? Just a road. Yeah, we're, we're it's, a road. it's a one. It's a windy hilly road. Yeah, it's a main mm, road though. But if you say hilly and I use potion of climbing, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hilly by like fucking this little hill here. Like, yep, I'm gonna climb this hill, not actually walk it. <laughs> yes, <you're> no. <laughs> well, you're climbing leave the now. ground. D, like meta game that shit but... yeah if he's climbing like if he's walking on all fours isn't he technically like climbing so <laughs> Belvin you want to go downstairs to see into the holding cells hey, unfortunately the stairwell collapsed I mean you can still kind of get down there but it's a bit of a, a bit of a 
bit of a trek down. You gotta go well, in through the river. You gotta go in through the river, really. Didn't we get all the? Didn't we have people down there? There were people down there. There were people down. The rubble hasn't been removed yet, except okay. for the the body but of. People, but people were pulled out of the. Rubble. I think by the boat. On right? the staircase, yeah. the cells weren't destroyed. The cells well, weren't know, destroyed. But like the people who went down those, because that was where the underground cavern is. Yeah. So. People went down there. People got out. So we got people out through the stairs. No. Uh, through, through the waterway. The, through the waterway. Um, so, yeah, so basically out out this way. They had to be ferried out from the boat landing to the um, Would I be able wharf. to fit through this rubble down or? Uh, make an acrobatics check. Screw it. Oh, I don't know why that's it. Oh. Uh, that's fine. We'll use the 14 since it's first. But yeah, with that, you managed to slink your way on down, uh, finding careful foot uh, footfolds, footholds. Not folds. As uh, you make your way down, uh, Mondath does put her head up and uh, rises from her uh, third prison cell bed. Well, bedroll, realistically. And just looks up and goes, What's happening? What was all that noise last night? I was. I was. For one thing, she probably doesn't even know who I am at this point in time. Actually, yeah, that's right. So let me boycott that from what I said. <laughs> uh, she just, yeah, so she stands up out of her bedroll and is just ta is taken back and just like, just scared to see a um, black dragonborn or half dragon as you look very similar to a black dragon would, itself. Would she think that it's one of the cultists then? Yeah, she kind of panics and sits yeah. back and says, get away, get away. And just going to hold hands up. Mondath. It's, it's just me, Belvin. Um, I've come to explain quickly some situ a situation that, that we're in right now. Um, um, I don't know if I have really anything on me. Well, you said you gathered all your, all your things. Yeah, but anything that she would know that... It, link it to me at all um, your sword if does she know that sword i never well, i'm gonna say so i mean you had it with you when you're at what's sword? when you're at greenest i don't know I'm it was like, on your person when you came back to yeah okay well i'll show it you know the sword like she's briefly familiar with it mm, okay um the helm symbol over my neck around my neck and um and it's like I was like, do you, do you believe me? Uh, she looks you, looks you over and just goes, how did this happen? Um, the commotion from, uh, last, uh, from before, I don't know, I think he's probably lost the night, um, uh, was a dragon that appeared out out of a rip in the sky um, called what we've been told a nether, nether, nether wing. Uh, upon saying that, it kind of strikes her and she gets serious and she's just like, that's... Yes. Uh, it attacked out, attacked the keep. Uh, we fought it and held it back in as best we can, but uh last thing I remember is uh, having its teeth sink into me, falling to the ground, and then a heavy weight pressed down on my chest. Next thing I knew, I woke up in this form. Do you not understand? This is the beginning of the end. Well, we have all, just then as well, not too long ago, we've been summoned to Daggerford being told there is uh, dragons approaching and we believe something big is happening now. They're really going through with it. They're really going to do it. Is, is there any insight you could give me for this? Because I... this is where 
we're going to end whatever the cult has been planning. It was an... The idea that Talos told me was a, it was part of the plan. Gather, gather what she needed. Then claim, basically nullify the entirety of the world's armies in one swift swoop with everything in our disposal. This is it. This is the start of the Age of Dragons. So they're only trying to destroy everything? No, they're trying to claim it. I, if they're really going through with this, this is... Oh, I never thought that would actually happen. It was only... It was only still when I... Wasn't even organized yet. Whereas me, we were too focused on the collection. And the raids. Things have moved along quite quickly it seems, uh, and there's just any information to, like, you know, just because we might fend off one lot doesn't mean it's going to just keep happening again. Can we go to the main source and rid whoever's behind all this, if you have any idea? Has Talos been telling you anything that could Help us stop this once and for all. From what I know of the Red Worm Speaker, he is brash, he is charismatic, but he is a firm believer. He will put himself out in the forefront. But he is powerful and he commands the first red. Do you not understand that? Whether I understand it or not, the, my objective does not change to rid every single one of these cultists that are trying to destroy us. I know. I know. Like you... <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you take that box off. Yeah, you may have been a part of that which you've experienced. And I know... In the back of my mind, everyone's telling me that you are still part of the cult. But as long as you're here and promise to help in any way you can, well, we might discuss uh, further planning, but... going to have to be a decision for a later time i understand be careful i i i know i i did hear rumors before during my time in, in preparation for the raid that we were thinking about sending funds to the iron circle corpse the iron circle core um as mercenaries and soldiers and those other ones being purchased and paid for. If he's actually gone ahead of it, they will be fighting war wyverns along with the dragons. They'll have their own mounts, their own riders. I, I don't know. And these Iron Circle Core are just just paid mercenaries. You think back to it? And you remember passing to, through a little town, well, a town on the, the Delimbo River. Is that did. the ones where we stole the wyverns to get to the floating castle? No, that was Parnas. That I uh, think post flying castle where you guys touched down in that first city, uh, and it was under the control of this military group, uh, this mercenary group with uh, red iron circles on their breastplate. And their oh. town water supply was being corrupted by the forest. No, wait. And that's them. Iron Circle is the—that's the one that rings the bell. They were. Uh. There was more. There was more armed guards than there was people in the town. Right. 
And we help those people. We help the town. That had most of those people in it. Mm. Mm. Meanwhile, you did learn from Lady Marcella on that on that day that the Iron Circle Legion is controlled in name only by their leader. The true uh, puppet master of the Iron Circle is a being called Sharax the Seer. That was something you uh, didn't follow up on because Lady Marcella told you to run as far away as possible. Oh, that's that was the... Um... Dryad. Yeah. yeah. Also no, no, gave the, no, the Sharax... What did they describe her at? It was a her, wasn't it? The seer? Because something had, like, plagued the forest and, like, yeah. making over the dryad and stuff. Yeah, I remember And Sharax saying... was the one that uh, planted the corrupted seed. Yeah, yeah right, right, right. I, I do remember that, and we did... We stayed away from that. Um, uh, okay. Um... Thank you for the information, Mondath. Um, I'm sorry, there's not much more I can do for you in your position here, but I'm hoping one day when this is all over, I can, I can let you out of here and let you live it, your life again. <sighs> Thank you. Thank I you. must be off now. And he's going to head back up. And she's left there in the quiet. Um, um, on the way out, um, depend or I'm going to uh, go back to Osa mm -hmm. um, and just remind her, um, Osa, yeah, make yes. sure make sure you do not forget. Um, Mondath down in the holding cell. Oh, um, no, of course not. If, what do you want me to do if anything happens? We told him before. If she tries to escape, kill her. Oh. In, in, in reference to if you were attacked or if she escapes. Anything. Uh, if she escapes, uh, and and tries to run, um, you are allowed to strike her down. But if you are attacked um, and need to flee, um, please do not forget her. Do not, do not want to feel responsible for an uh, forgotten, for her being forgotten there in in time of peril. Okay. No but worries. that's worst case scenario. Until then, just make sure she gets regularly fed. Um, if you need to, um, uh, you can transport her to a locked room. Um, just because the stairwell is broken okay um i can do that but, but i'll i'll let you decide on that as yeah. you see fit thank you right. and spelvin's gonna head um out the what was the front gate uh what's going on out at the front gate is a gathering of uh some guys they have acquired six horses um <laughs> and how many guards getting there oh, okay <laughs> we're gonna take like about 10 guards uh so yeah there's been six the six guard the six horses uh there's also Ta uh tanix horse which can be uh can have another person ride on with it so it can also be two people per horse and taking those into consideration can we take a car you can take a card as well you oh, take two would that slow us down a lot that'll slow us down Ah, uh, you put like six horses on it. That's just that's <laughs> so unnecessary. Put a rocket it's booster on it. It's gonna be like a wagon. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought you'd do. And you all six of you have like six. Well, do we, do all we the guards go on the wagon. And, I don't know. Someone can't. Someone create something out of magic. Nothing that big at the right now. What about the supercharged bus we have in the in the garage? 
Oh yeah, that's pretty good actually. We don't have a supercharged bus in the garage. Yeah, we do. We built it. <laughs> that's what I did in my year off. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't got to my year off thing. Yeah. Viridian, can I kill them all? <laughs> okay. Come on, it's a warm up round. This is a all warm right, up. Sir. We're being polite. Six to horses, guys. total I'm of seven. Worse. Then include the two horses that are summoned. Um, mm -hmm. Makes a total of nine horses. And, and you hat. You hat. And, and Anki. Fucking slow ass man. <laughs> Anki's the tank. Just you wait. Uh, no, we'll uh, be waiting for a while. No, no, no. <laughs> we won't be waiting. <laughs> I'll come in and save the day. <laughs> like, like the next what day? Not two, today, like wait. tomorrow. It's like, <laughs> we've already like called in reinforcements in the few, already before. It's just slower to get there. <laughs> yeah. You know the reinforcements, you're before the reinforcements. You have oh, it arousing he managed, he managed to gather six he managed to gather uh, six soldiers who are happy and willing to keep going and keep fighting where the rest are kind of like at the mention of another dragon like straight away they're just like look we're, which is we're, understandable yeah we're a bit panicked on that how long does it take to get there at 60 feet like riding a horse for example two hours Two hours two at hours. fast pace. Yeah. Or it's, yeah. Um, well, okay, so these guards obviously probably don't look very excited to be going in a possible dragon uh, encounter. Now. Um, how many guards were there again? Six, including Aranus. I think with us, though, they'll feel confident, surely. Like, riding beside us. Um, Come on, everyone well, has to be Well, Belvin, once he gets out there, is just going to put his hand out and then appearing just a little bit behind him then running and fully appearing right next to him is going to be his uh, horse uh, Kayla it also and comes in a smoky uh, gray aesthetic as it comes yeah. through and he's just gonna like quickly just jump up on her in front of him and um, and he is going to do a motivational speech to them at this point as well, um, Ikram, Sandstorm, and Kazimir can be there and also gain this benefit for it. Uh, Unless... I was, gonna, I was not going to go Inspiring Leader at this point in time. Uh, okay, alright. So yeah, you can give it well, a I, well, Sorry. I mean, Sorry, I thought I that was where you are going. I, I just, I sort of, but not like have the benefit of it, only because it's only six people. Role play wise, but then the benefit it's only what? <laughs> it's only six people. Well, you can give it out to six. Just get like some of them to go into okay. like a soundproof room. <laughs> they can't hear. Some of you block your ears. Mm -hmm. well, that's what I Got mean. to give a speech to six well, years well, first. Because, <laughs> well, that's what I mean. Because it's like nah, there's, just... there's more than six of us, and it's like I I'm mean. I'm sure while you're to choose, just like Kyle, is it fine oh, if we're there and we get the benefit? It yes. is. I'm sure. <laughs> cool. You can best see. That's the whole point. <laughs> so we don't have to fuck around with it so much. Yeah, it's like literal D and D. It's just like literal. It's like, no, sorry, no, 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 six. Sorry. Now we have to roll for random. We we'll roll for it. Now. No, 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 no. I, roll I, I, I pick. It. I pick who gets it. Anki's there yeah. too, just like. Um, Alrighty, it, it's these these dragons seek to destroy everything we own, and um and love, and just want to bring destruction to everybody. But with us here. We are going to fight off these dragons and wipe out this cultist behind all this. And it's going to be every single one of us here, as he's kind of walking around and just pointing at all these guards here, that make the final blow to this destructive force. And we will be victorious. <sighs> and, uh... And they raise their shield swords up here. Yeah! Around us goes, yeah. Yeah. And, um... So, Inspiring Leader will be us four. What mm -hmm. do you get from it? Uh, ten temporary hit points. Wow. That's actually pretty good. Um, 
and Arenas is Arenas coming with us? Yes. Okay. Uh, Arenas will get it too. Okay. Um, and fuck, I don't know. And one Who's other guard. Last? One other guard, I guess. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> fuck random, no. Fuck random no. Ball. Random no. pulse number three. No, no, one of the guards. Just, All right. Just a, you, just a crossbowman. You give it to George because he uh, speaks with sign language. Oh, yeah, definitely that guy. Yep, definitely that guy. Oh, is he coming too? Wait. Oh. oh, no. Yeah, okay. Yep. He's just like... Deaf? Definitely. And yes. Like, cause, because, um... That's as, 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 as... Well, he can read lips, I'm going to say. <laughs> You're gonna say, and because I was and, talking to him before, and another, another guard, and another guard is able to uh, translate for him. Oh, there you go. ASL. I hear um, George is psychic too. Um, <laughs> yeah, for George to get it, Bowman's just as he's kind of riding his horse in the group, and he's just kind of he just stops for a second, and then just like nods and points at George and slings a crossbow over his shoulder and goes, hmm. and then just Bowman's just like. On his chest, and uh, yeah, ready to go. So everyone has ten. Like, I don't feel motivated about that at all. Well, I mean, I mean, do you want me to roll for the rest of them to see how motivated they feel? (laughs) (laughs) Yes. Nice. Uh, Persuasion or? No, don't, don't. Performance? Is it a performance? Nah, do it. Yeah, roll a performance. Let's see. Would it be performance? Roll performance. For those who didn't receive the benefit, they are quite and truly. Uh, Nineteen. They are motivated. Yeah, do it for each one. Heck, got their juices flowing. Right. So, any other preparations? Are you going to bring the Griffin, the Sandstorm, Casimir? Are you going to contact yeah, Elliot? I wanted to, call, I wanted to contact Elliot. Okay. How do you want to do it? Um. Oh, I'm guessing. She's has she come back at all after all the commotion? Uh, no, she is not. Okay. Well, I would have sent a sending to her. Okay. Um, sending it. What do you say? To come back to the keep. Um, there's a, a swarm of dragons about to attack Daggerford. Um, I need your assistance in battle. Uh, she replies back. <clears throat> I expect some gems. I heard the call. What was that? I will be there soon. And just let's just say, for expediency's sake, you sent that uh, prior, uh, prior to le- like learning everything. And at this point, she arrives, um, basically upriver, flying upriver, and her draconic form flies on in and a lot of people even though the inspiring space comes in this black dragon that has grown quite in size touches down not too uh right on top of the of the keep landing softly just uh now bigger now definitely bigger than a uh than a horse much 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 larger than a horse just like Try and calm the guards. Like, They're already on edge. And just like, they know about it already, though. Arenas just goes, "Men, for those who do not know, this is Elliot, the sage keeper of River Guards. Familiar? Looking at you, like trying to think of the right word to use for it. Companion. Acid just drips down from the mouth onto the ground. <laughs> Destroys a little plant that uh fight fire with fire, right? Dragon versus dragon. And I just gotta find your griffin, I'll bring it on down, and then you guys So Ali, it's probably about the size that she can be rode on and she can also carry someone in her <coughs> Like carry someone in her claws. Carry someone on her claws. <laughs> but can she like, carry Anki? In- Fly. <laughs> Yeah. No. <laughs> no. No. I don't know. No. All right. Just what for, use both just for theory's sake, could even an ancient dragon carry Anki? Yeah. Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> an adult dragon could carry. What about a griffin oh, and a dragon and Anki? Not Anki. 
<laughs> Elliot and my Griffin, can they both? <laughs> we will. You will uh... have to. Yes, of course, but at a very slow rate. <laughs> yeah, of course. You're probably kill fine. Him. Don't worry about it. So what are you going to do then? Are you going to do it? Or... I ain't gonna do something. I can summon you. I'm gonna not wait till everyone leaves, and then I'm gonna. Oh, I mean, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's your, in your bag of secrets? <laughs> right. This is a push of climbing, and then make difficult, difficult terrain for the rest. We of put years. Anki in my bag of holding and <laughs> hold his breath. Until we get there. Oh. Can Anki hold his breath for two hours? Do you like Mr. Bean and put a I straw in. I don't think the bag of holding straw. can hold Anki. <laughs> Bag of holding cannot hold Anki. It's got a weight limit. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna cast speak with animals with Anki, <coughs> and just say, it "Might feel weird, but I'm going to change your appearance to make our trip a bit faster." Oh. And I'll be to back when we get there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That. And then. I'm going to car. Are we going now? Uh, yeah, I'm ready I to go. Thanks, so. Elliot. Shall we ride into battle? In a time. Please, let's. Alright, I cast Polymorph and I turn Anki into a giant eagle and then I say, I'll see you there. <laughs> you change Anki into a giant eagle oh. and. Lie on That's 80 feet. Fuck you all. <laughs> lie on off faster. Actually, the griffin oh, yeah, itself. Acquired. The griffin is also quite uh, quite quick flying at 80 feet as well. So between oh. Sandstorm and uh, Ikra, at each other. you two can get, uh, gather up on your mounts and just fly on off. All right. Oh. This is Elliot. Elliot is still um, 60 feet. Okay. Um, Belvin's going to be in, in front of the guards. As I'm going to say, everyone's on a horse and in a cart and ready to go. Yep. And I assume and we're just like, going at like the same pace, so we're not pulling ahead. I'm going to say you guys are pulling ahead. That's what these guys are saying, 80 feet. Yep. Yeah. They, so, can, they can then, pull ahead. Yep. In, in, and, if they um, move. Well, Belvin's going to quickly, he's like, all right, let's move on. Come on. We're in a rush. Ah. We need to get there. We don't want to be like a last bloody and team, right? Go. Gonna... We may as well scare out ahead, see what's going Go. on, and then come back. We're just gonna fucking. Then come back. You just keep... Oh no, as in, come... yeah, as in, come back. Come back. Come back. <laughs> see you. <laughs> oh, yeah, we saw it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it don't do. Don't want to go there, guys. Don't want to go there. <laughs> no, not going there, mate. All right, so well, if we want to maintain the same speed, I'll change that instead to a um, giant owl. Um, that's cool. With no, you you oh. you're thinking slow down. You don't have to go maximum speed, dude. You don't have to okay. go maximum throttle on your lead. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no, yeah. It's only if, one. It's a marathon, wonder, mate, not a sprint. I wonder if Anki's going to get motion sickness because he's not used to moving this fast. <laughs> well, he's, a, he's an eagle. <laughs> That's going to be amazing. How's that work? When you get polymorph, do you just like in you all of a sudden... You maintain animal? the same size. Are you just all of a sudden very good at doing that thing as an animal? Yeah, because you become that animal. Like you a become natural animal. thing. Yeah, but birds like get born there, that animal, they fucking can't fly at the start, probably. Well, they fly or they die. It's coming handy anyway when we get there because he has advantage. Like instinct, isn't it? Action. So maybe we so, can scout out beforehand. Are you going to ride a horse, Casimir, or are you going to fly alongside Elliot? Mate, I'm on Elliot. Oh, good. Yeah, right. you're a dragon rider now. Fuck yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's fucking cool, man. All right, Sandstorm is on Mount the Griffin. Does anyone remember my name? I got voted the name. I forgot it was. Yeah, look, same. Um... <laughs> It got voted. Was it in chat? Actually, how long do you have to about Pebbles? No, it was two names because it was a tie, so I made it have two names. Yeah, it was Pebbles something. Mm. Could, could have been Pebbles. Let me type in Griffin in the chat so it comes up. P T. It goes like the rest of yours is probably like Pebbles sink into water or P Pebbles on a shore. T yeah. Pebbles from a river. E to Griffin. Cool. There we go. Straw pole. Griffin. Let's see what it was. It was. God, that's a lot of. Oh, God, that's a lot search, of. search, which is very good. Dump the present. No, I want to be in the past. I want to 
present. <laughs> hey, hello, Blazing Viper. How are you doing, my friend? We're just coordinating how our heroes are going to. Oh, uh, gobbles! That was not. That was gobbles. Not... Gobbles. <laughs> well, I, I had half of it right. The results. It was gobbles soloing. Uh, oh, gobbles. That's cool. Can we put that in the law? Gobbles. Gobbles. Yeah, gobble gobble soloing is now a legit thing okay cool because i always forget and i always have to go back because it's like ridiculous name. <laughs> well i guess it matches its own right pretty I mean, <laughs> I mean yeah but don't quit your day job <laughs> this day job has been noble so yeah you'd probably be better off if you did quit well, I'd be fucking hell, man. <laughs> that's a more responsible takeover other people be, work for, be better for everyone else <laughs> Okay, I'm just resizing things. So, um, you guys get on your horses, get on your mounts, get flying away, and make your way to Daggerford. We're sort of just like above, though, the convoy. Yeah, flying alongside them, keeping. Sp yeah, because then that gives us a better like view, basically. Yeah, we can see what's going on. And if it looks like anything's going to go down, I'm going to cast telepathic bond on us. Because we can see a long way. <laughs> I was thinking, like, yeah, like if you, if you guys, if you was flying, just stay like, what, like, fifteen Actually, feet in front of us or something. Because Elliot's still in the moving, I can like cast. So yeah. I'd, I would just cast telepathic bond every hour, so we're always in contact. Yeah, you're not actually like you don't have to command her to fly. She's already flying. She can think for herself. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, absolutely can do that. Cool. Sorry, just working out the final kinks. There we go. Okay. I just got to make your player tokens a little bit smaller. As uh, Tilly, within the first uh, 20 minutes of your flight, Tilly sends a snapshot of a burning, uh, burning horizon. Oh. Well, a burning sunset towards Rivergard. Uh, As in, like, literally I mean, burning, or just the sunset? Just the sunset, but also a massive plume of smoke coming uh, coming off. So far, just oh, the possibly the first fire, you're not 100% sure. But as you make your way there into the the uh, twilight hour of dusk, you arrive as the town is set ablaze, yeah. in a sense. Wow. And I'm just going to put, I am going to pop your tokens onto the map. I just got to make it a little bit smaller without destroying everything. That's not, that reminds you of something, doesn't it, guys? Yeah, I was going to say it reminds me of the first few sessions. The very first session. <laughs> Wasn't the very first, first We definitely, one day, like one. one day we'll play. I remember you liked this uh, Twitter post, Kyle. It mm. was like a role playing one, but it wasn't even about like death. It was like a fun house or something. Oh yeah, no, we could we could definitely play a fun house. It'd be amazing to have like role playing gameplay, but not have sadness all the time. But I like <laughs> ups, no ups and downs, no, just ups. <laughs> I want you all to suffer. Why don't you understand that? It makes it more enjoyable when there's good things, but it's so sad. Why? Yes, it is. All right, so uh, let's. Get some bit more dramatic music going on. Is there a river or anything near? Yes, the uh, town is actually situated along the river, river, and the road follows along the river. Hmm. So when we get there, would I be able to? I don't know. It doesn't say that you can control water in this sense, but like it says, I can part water. Are there still dragons around? Like... He just said the fires were blazing, so. I'm just going with that. Is the source of the fire still around? <laughs> the source of the fire is still around. Just let me <laughs> bring you, you make it to the battle map. Oh, Who's well, the orb? Make lots of money, and then you just uh... make it rain. Oh, here we go. Who's oh. The orb? oh, shit. Oh, shit. Well, oh, yeah. Uh, so I'm just making your tokens a danger, lot smaller. Danger. So. Zoom on in over there, my friends. Time crisis too. <laughs> oh fucking hell, memory. What is the massive map? Hey? 
So, there's one dragon. There's two. I can't see. Two dragons. Oh, is that too small for everyone? Okay. They're pretty small. What do you mean? Just the tokens are pretty small. Oh, I think it's the scale, isn't it? Of us, I mean. Yeah, it's just hard to see. It's just hard to see, is all I mean. You can zoom in, can't you? Yeah, you can zoom in a lot. Yeah. You want to get the, oh, uh, the feeling of how fucked we are. Make us feel small. I can't say the fucking word. Insignificant. Thank you very much for that. I got stuck <laughs> on a second syllable. Who's got the Orb of Storm? Moi. Well, I had it last You do. Least. I'm gonna say, if you want to yeah. get rid of the fire, you can always just control weather it. Yeah, we... I think we need to deal with the... Oh, no, I'm just... I'm just saying in the press... Yeah, matters. that was... <laughs> that, could, that will go up and they'll take over that part. The right side's pretty fucked. As you come into, uh, come over the crest, which is, which leads you to, um, leads you to Daggerford proper, uh, along the Delimbra River, you can see as you arrive, Daggerford is ablaze, a dragon circling overhead, its silhouette between, uh, columns of smoke as it roars in a great might of conquest. You see off into the off over the horizon towards the east and advancing up to the north the horizon and a little bit of the lower part of the sky is blotted out by what seems to be a moving cloud uh, probably 50 kilometers away heading north is this massive flight of near hundreds of winged creatures along with uh well you can't really see it on hills but it, they uh, you can see dust off in the distance as well more plumes of smoke they seem to be heading north as you come into Dagford proper you can see that uh, some of the ballistas that were planted up around the guard towers uh, are set aflame. This dragon, uh, under the proper light as it goes over, uh, the flames is created. You see uh, crimson red scales. The dragon lets out another roar. As it passes over, it goes... This shall be my roost. <sighs> Dragon flies in a circle, proclaiming Daggerford as its as its own. What's this one? That is that one. Yes, you see, flying up above it, just circling, are two wyverns. Um, you can make a perception check on them. They seem to be a lot higher up, though smaller than the dragon. Do I get to make advantage with the eagle? The eagle has? Yes. You can all make uh, a... Okay. You can yeah, all make do. a perception check to take a look. Oh, not even that good. Getting the bad rolls out of the way, boys. <laughs> I all hope right. so. <laughs> uh. All right. So... Casimir, you're the only one that notices um, through the smoke and at the great distance. Um, you focus in on one of them and you can see that uh, eight, that one of them has, uh, each of them actually have a rider on the back. Mm. On the Wyvern's armored chest with interlocking plates, you see a big red iron uh, iron red circle on its chest and it is there we are going to have a break no. <laughs> just to just to really it's take a step me. back just because it's <laughs> just to fuck with you because it's it's break time it's time for us yeah. to go make ourselves a cup of tea 
have a chill and i will answer your question robbie now as Fantastic. one thing sandstorm was able to maybe prepare was let's see uh maybe a couple because fire arrows are pretty rare to make but you could have spent some money on some of those you mean just two well no it depends how much you want to spend on like this is going to be like during the year gap well i want to get how much does 20 cost 20 would really up and cost you like somewhere around 500 gold they're bloody good they're bloody good what about molotov cocktails molotov cocktails would only cost you 20 to be able to make um how many with, hold, with whatever oils survived down below you would have been able to make uh whatever was available that wasn't breaking broken um so let's say 20. And what we be? I'll get um ten flame arrows. Okay, so you have so two hundred and fifty gold. Is there a number? Where is our number of our keep? Do we have that. Like, is that? What is the number of your keep? I don't have that. <laughs> Jesus! Holy crap! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> it's Brian. Like our uh, number of our keep, like the um, how much got all our keep has? Because I literally, I have no money on my purse. Um, you know what I mean? Like, uh, we actually have a Google Doc involved for this. As yeah. A, okay. Cool. So yeah. it's on there. Yeah, it's in the Google Doc. I'm gonna too. minus it from that. I probably should take some and put it on my purse. Mm. I mean, it's also a good question to ask. Hey, who has the key, the crystal key to the crystal lock? That's something we can ask afterwards. But yeah. how are you okay. how are you enjoying coming back into some D and D? Oh, this is great now. Yeah, yeah, fuck. It's good. This session feels like a real. I think the last session we played was kind of like a, a bit of a filler, wasn't it? It was. It was quite filler, but it had a it had meaning to it. Like yeah, yeah. The ritual took a bit. Like did take a bit of time. Um, even that just before it took a bit of time, but it was good to get you guys back into the role of your character. Now, I feel going. like now we really feel like we're on the um the pace, mm. the pace again, which is good because you have an entire blotted out sky of, of yeah, and hard, creatures rushing it, it? north. That's what you have to do just to make us yeah. rush is a death, more death, mm. more, more death, more, more get it? going. Yeah, your your right. like timeline dude is amazing. Now because you forever have that, you don't have to ever do that again. Oh now, man. Now when you go back, you don't have to go back to today. I think it was when we first started and we got past episode ten, that's when I stopped and I was like, Why did I stop this? Yeah. Why did I stop? That but now so because you've done it all, it's gonna be forever, dude. It's, it's, awesome. it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so wonderful. It's gonna be so wonderful. Like you could even like if you wanted to do a real proper audio book and cut it and make, make it really efficient oh, yeah, yeah. if you really or, or get someone like can you how much would it cost to hire a good voice person um i don't to do know it, to do like to read my transcript script as well would be fucking hard so maybe, okay so first is an editor you can hire an editor i need to hire an editor <laughs> and then hire a voice actor then I hire a voice actor. You know what? I'll just do it myself. <laughs> I'll get someone to edit and I'll do it myself. Get on the right of it as well. You should just go on the right of it as well. Please. Yeah. You should have gone on to go through every episode and write it. For you. Um, I don't know where it is under. What's, what's it called? <coughs> um, strong uh, should be stronghold. Oh, no. Don't get it out. I got it out of the thing. I got it out. Oh, of it's an Excel document. Not okay. A okay. Where is um uh, where is uh it? should be oh, yeah, yeah. stronghold loot. Should be in Riverguard Stronghold Loot because I don't have yes, Viridian, that is correct. The last I don't have every episode. Do you want to know what I also lost? What? The last episode. The one the resurrection one. It's still not it's not on Twitch. I accidentally deleted the file when I was doing a massive clean up on my computer because I thought, oh yeah, it's already there. It's already in the file. If you're a Twitch keeping. Prime, you get an extra two or three months or something. Apparently. That's cool. Do I get those two, three months back? No, I don't. Actually, I don't know. That 
That's a if you want to, you never know. It could get to, and Twitch Prime's like five dollars a month, and you get a free subscription, dude. So and a subscription costs more than five dollars a month. Mm. And then yeah. you get and also you get Prime Video. It's like so worth it if you're gonna to subscribe to at least one person. You get it because it pays for the subscription mm-hmm. of the channel you want to subscribe to. You get Twitch Prime benefits, like stuff like that, where you get your videos last a bit longer, all that kind of stuff. You get one subscription as well per month. They can uh, give yeah, you some more. Yeah, if you wanna. Oh yeah, Twitch Prime. If you haven't, you haven't clicked that Twitch Prime guy. Haven't clicked that click the little button. Oh, it's, it's so Prime. easy. If you have an Amazon Prime account, uh, you can link that to your Twitch. Exactly. You can also go down, you can scroll down and see what you, we've been using through Amazon as well. It's just, oh, good. Um, also, Sandstorm took some sh- some uh, gold out of the treasury while he was... <sighs> yeah. Hope he's ready to pay interest. Care. Yeah. He, so how, much probably... Sandstorm did, how much money did Sandstorm bring in during the year break? He he spent more than him. <laughs> he got a That's mana. Not, we're gonna he have some a, words. He, he got a property in Waterdeep. Oh, he did. Investment property. Have to yeah, evaluate. Investment. He may have pe- he may have said it, uh, send to build a river garden and have it furnished. Meanwhile, I'm going to get some more water. Brb, entertain this. My kettle is currently boiling. Oh, oh, good. What happened? Oh, my drag. Is the smooth jazz still going? I can hear it. I can't okay. hear anything. Uh, I see. All right, cool. All right, I will be right back. So, how do you feel, Rob, back into the D and Ds? That's how he feels. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Like, fuck even shit. though, even though technically we haven't really done much. What do you mean? We fucked around for an hour and a bit. That's about normal. Uh, I meant, I meant like really like rolls and you know that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's good. It's our first game back. I don't think anyone expected anything. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys? Yeah, do you, you guys reckon this is the this is the end game almost? Like for Avengers. Oh. Wait, is Thanos coming? <laughs> One of these dragons might be Thanos. Oh shit! But but in but in that aspect, but in like Check dragon their claws, they got gloves on. But in dragons brew sense. No, I don't this reckon is... we're hitting the end game just yet. Not reckon with this big attack. I thought. Well, I think this is like the start of what will lead into the end game. Well, that's what I mean. It's not obviously we're in like the this mid game. The, the end fight. of the mid game, I think. You reckon? Yeah. I reckon we're at the start of the end game. Ooh, I don't know about that, mate. How strong are, are, are wyverns? <laughs> what, what do you think, Rob? Are we at the the end of the mid game or the start of the end game? <laughs> I reckon we're at the start of the end game. Oh fuck you, Rob! Yeah, <laughs> see, Rob just because it sounds like it's a new chapter, like this whole thing. It's not like the end of. They basically both mean the exact same fucking thing. No, no, it's not. The glass is half empty. It means a completely different thing. It means it's starting the last chapter. Mate, I'll trip you over. The the middle chapter. Totally different. I don't need to be faster than the dragons. I just need to be faster than you. Well, we all saw how that got him last time we uh, we fought a dragon. We'll just bring you back as something else. Exactly. Oh, yeah, Ikram. You, you guys have not had a long rest yet, so any oh, yeah. spells you cast earlier on in the day, such as your reincarnation, which is a fifth level spell. Was that earlier on the day? Yeah. Yeah. Same day. Oh, I thought this was. Yeah, that's cool. what I said. What timing for the messenger? Yes. It's not like the next day after this happened. It's like immediately after we resurrected no. Belvin. Medi- Literally like, like five minutes ten- after. Uh, well, well also like real world after. times. So. We also, have been gone for like. You did. 
Yeah. You did. You did get a send. <laughs> you did get a sending at about uh, three in the morning after the dragon attack from Talos. But I forgot to mention saying that they got the cult got hit too, and uh, the red worm speaker is moving the plants very quickly ahead. That's so all yeah, convenient you of you to forget that. Yeah, I, I told you guys that after we resurrected Belvin. Yeah. Because that was after. like. Because I got the sending like in the morning or something. Yeah, like, and then we woke up, resurrected Belvin, and I told everyone. Because mm. it was pretty much like bam, bam, bam. Yeah. You told us it literally the same moment that this guy came in, that Daggerford was attacked. That's right, I do remember that actually. Because it was all like, fucking within like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get my tea. Mm. Because that's just how we do. But thank you everyone for joining us tonight. I hope you are enjoying our story of Dragon's Brew D and D. We are going to get some initiative rolled up once our uh, Tormund, the God, I very who got it, but you know, Tormund, Tormund. Once our Ranger gets back, we'll roll some initiative. Roberto. Yeah, Roberto. Oh, right. yeah, we have to, we have to roll initiative outside the city. Did you say why now? We're going to take the city. Um, just so you guys know, that is we take it over. Flying yeah. attackers, I have absolutely nothing. That I can hit them with. If we, if the dragons kill everyone in the city, and then we kill the dragons, that means we own we, the city, right? Yeah, it means I'll be, <laughs> I'll be king of Mesro, Riverguard, Daggerford. Fuck off, mate! You don't get another city. Lord, <laughs> mate, you're under my control, and we take you over. I get this is a mutiny. You can't <laughs> you of Daggerford. If everyone wants to go with you, but I don't know. The Shadows Hunt. Bro yeah. has a lot of influence, so I don't know if you want to go against him. Belvin's with me now. No oh, shit. Oh, Wait, you're with me as well. I, don't I know honestly don't about. know about that. You've been my mate. You've been my mate. If anyone in our whole group has biggest com bigger conflict, is definitely Belvin and Kaz. Yeah, for sure. So I highly Belvin <laughs> keeps protecting the cultists. <laughs> it's just like everyone Belvin just stands up. Like, are you gonna go against this? I think most people are always gonna I go. I am not to protecting Belvin. a cultist. I mean, I'm protecting. I am protecting an ex cultist, but not protecting a cultist. Let's see how she's an ex cultist. We kind of killed her while she was leading the attack on. Her well, is she the same person? That's always a question. <laughs> That's a question, isn't Different it? Body, I mean, but it's the same, same person. person. Same soul. I know, that's just, that's another philosophical question we can talk about on a later date. That's what Kyle has to say. That's yes. a Kyle's thing, isn't it? He's like, Jeez. we can talk about that on a later date. And then we that forget. That just means deflect <laughs> and never talk about it. Because we forget about it, right? And then we don't never talk about it again. <laughs> it's a clever play. I like it. Okay. Okay. It do this, Levi Niggy. We want to roll initiative. Get now. this done. So, um, how this is going to work, by the way, is you're going to be having a lot more freedom on this tactical map, meaning so that you can meet uh, on your turn. You can take two actions Whoa. on this scaled map. You can take two actions, two movements. So it's basically two turns in one go. Hmm. Just be. Uh, um. At Just least, like, to scale. Hold on. One sec. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we can just walk away. <laughs> exactly. The rest of the deal with the shit that... We're like, no, no. <laughs> I cast this, and it kills one of the weavers. Well, I guess it is to oh, scale. Yes. <laughs> we just won, by the way. Yeah. No, oh, you um, got no, I, under I understood that. You, you guys, yeah, just you wished it all away. Yeah. All right, so let's boom get some initiative. Oh, very nice. Oh my god, my eye can't assist. Nice. Oh, yeah, it's hard to click. Um, yeah, yeah. So um, that's what I'm talking about. When I when I spotted the wyverns and the iron ring, was it the iron ring? Yeah, the iron, iron circle. circle. Yeah. Iron circle. I would have telepathically, because of the telepathic bond. Yeah, because you got that. Told everyone about that. Like, there's two wyverns above us, with riders from the iron ring, iron circle. 
And it was All just right. the one dragon? Uh, it's just the one dragon. You see this is nearly... Uh, for size comparison, it's larger than night scale, but smaller than glaze hail. You know, glaze hail is the uh, white dragon. Yeah. Okay. And it's wait, and bigger than night scale. Bigger than night scale. Bigger but than night scale, which was the black dragon. That was a young black dragon. Yeah. A young black dragon. Yep. 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 Gotcha. And slightly smaller than glaze hail. It was like an adult, I think. Yeah. Ah, uh, twinsies. <laughs> And a lot smaller than um, Vragamantha. Yep. A lot smaller than Vragamantha. A lot smaller than Vragamantha. Huge. <laughs> because he was like an elder dragon. Or, which which uh, I'm glad we have never met again. Yeah. <laughs> but we've got some <laughs> flying creatures here, eh? I'm sure they'll show up at some point. <laughs> and we'll be like, oh fuck. Yeah, what I've um, listened to today, oh, where's those brothers yeah. gone? Where the fuck are they? No, the, I know what they're doing. Yeah, <laughs> no, you know that's what they're the doing, problem. But I forgot about them and until I listened to it today, and I'm like, Fuck. that's good. How can you forget about it? In our original artwork, it's his eyes that are behind us. It's just because, that's like, Rizmi's. we've gone through so much what? stuff. They're Rizmi's eyes. No, they're not. They're Ragamanta when he teleported us to the place. You lied to me, Carl. I'd never lied to you one at all. Did Carl tell you that? I swear I probably... that's what Carl said. They probably misspoke. All right. Carl, can elementals fly, or are they solely on the ground? Uh, depends on what kind of elemental. If you it's are. an air one, like, I'm air, sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> You'd hope Water air gets one. a swim speed. Earth gets a burrow speed. Fire's oh, yeah. elemental. Fire just, just fire burns. Fire just burns. <laughs> fire's just fire. Okay. Okay. Let's Man, would so, an angel mode be fucking handy right now? I uh, know. You got to deal with that in your own time. <laughs> So, and being a human sucks. <laughs> do we have everyone? <laughs> yep, we do. And I'll just have the guards go on 10, so that will be Aranus. Uh, they're all basically going to be working together as a unit. What are you doing, Lily? Okay, good. What are you doing, Carl? Um, telling Sandstorm it's his go. You are on your griffin. It is... Uh, Okay. On the, on the wing, flying. You see. So, have we made any tactics beforehand, or do we speak? We can, we can communicate tel uh, telepathically. Okay. We're so, all like a link. So we don't so actually need to talk. You go where I go, Griffin. You go where I go. Okay. Where'd that dragon go? Fuck. So do our creatures roll initiatives as well? It's on the left. Uh, go on what our turns? I, yeah, they're gonna go on your turns. Okay. Alrighty. Um, it's of so much chaos. I'm gonna look to the p person who's got the most fucking training in this position, at Belvin, and go, brother. On your orders, brother. He's on a horse. Yeah, Arrested. but I talk yeah. to him um, telepathically, can't I? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because like he's got the most military training in a situation so ridiculous like this. Well, I'm just like. <laughs> I have military training. Yeah. I don't know about in this kind of situation. This is the um, I don't know, tactics. Like, got more in, uh, more in than us. I'm, what do we do? Are there any ballistas me, me, on the walls? Me and the guardsmen are gonna um, try to uh, have uh, trying to establish um, a way that we can attack them uh, in the air with mm. more force. So we're gonna check the. The walls for the ballista or any sort of air. Ah, uh, yep. Air combat. This Daggerford has, um, much, as much as we can do on the ground as air support for using yeah, that yeah. fly speed. So can and I? The only do thing a... I can recommend is maybe try to draw them. Can you cut the wings off? I don't know. Can I have a look to see what, like, draw where's them, the Daggerford? Draw them to the to, to the manor. The, the largest building down the back here? Yeah. Draw them into the open fields over there um, to reduce damage on the buildings. Yeah. Better line of sight. And while I do a perception check and see um, how Daggerford people are going and like all that stuff. All right, make a perception check. There's enough light from the fires of the town as well that it does provide quite a, a good amount of light. Oh yeah, what time is it? 
it is dusk. It is uh, like the photo, like the scene I showed you before, but a little bit brighter than that, oh, though. Okay. So it's like a afternoon blaze. Yep. Because of the fire and stuff. Mm. Okay. So the light is very well good. That's all right. So people with dark vision don't have disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. I like when you said that you're like, I have to be, I changed to a creature that doesn't have dark vision again. I like, that was hilarious. You also still have your ring of, your ring of spell story. Uh, but I am not attuned to it. As... Well, well, you don't have your helmet anymore. Nope. Or the shield. No. The but shield. So you would have had time to attune to something. I am attuned to three things still. Okay. Um, my long sword, great sword, and bracer. Okay, so yeah, with That's, that perception. And I, and I, I don't. Oh, I guess I could have on my way here if I needed to, but nah. Wait, was the bracer attunement? I thought yes. the circle wasn't. Nope, it's attunement. Okay. Right, so. Would have been nice if it's not. It's not a tumor. Yeah, it's not a tumor. <laughs> so, Sandstorm, with that, um, as this dragon is circling the town, setting it ablaze. Uh, among the death and destruction, you can see it's targeted a couple of ballistas up a little, up and around uh, this ballista up here, and this ballista up here is already smoldering. It looks like it's coming. It's already made a uh, flight path, basically just going up and up and back so far, mm. and burning when it can, setting a blaze to other. Uh, structures and in, in, uh, homes and infrastructure. You can see that uh, the city guard and militia, what able bodies there are, are, are working to keep um, some of the fires from spreading as you begin to see into town. Uh, you can see uh, the silhouettes of people running up towards the manor itself and seemingly um, heading around what seems to be towards the back of it. Okay, so I want to reply to Belvin and say, but everyone is going to the manor now. I can see them running. Any change of plans? Well, <laughs> obviously, um, distract them from that area. Keep them away from the... Kill the everyone. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... What's the close... Oh, shit, there's a long... This is scale? Yes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, so I'm going to go 80 160 feet. feet for total. Okay, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, I'm going to make a... I'm going to get my griffin to squawk as loud as he can. Get gobbles to squawk. At the same time, I'm going to grab my dagger of vengeance and let it make it pulsate lightning as a big crack to try to get their attention at the same time. I want them, like, I want to try to bait them. Okay, make me a... Ooh, make me an intimidation check. Fuck yeah. Come and get me, fools. Uh -oh. Come and get me. Can we help him out? Can I, like, cast uh, some dancing lights in there? You can throw some dancing lights around it. Creating flashes of uh, lightning that sparks around. Disco, disco. If he's helped me out, is that an advantage? You said. I'll say it's an advantage. Yeah. Yes. Make it a lot brighter. Intimidation for my charisma. These four globs of light coming out around you, just creating this uh, massive fire. These four use... fireworks that could. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna use a luck dice. It's my last luck dice. That means I get to roll luck again. Dice. They're nat twenties now, not luck dice. Yeah, nat twenties now. So add three, to, add a. So you got. I got luck dice, one luck dice. That's what you're rolling. That was only for J's. Was oh, was it J's. really? Is yeah. that does that roll over? Yeah, yeah rolls no, over. No, so no, no, those luck dice will turn oh. into nat twenties. They turn into twenty. Oh, well, I just use a nat twenty then. Well, there you go. If you really want to do that, how badass do you want to be? I want to be like so badass. You know how you see. Uh, uh, the horse riders and the lightning thunder like, it's like this fucking death rider like of Lord of the Rings or some shit I want to look like that with my cloak then you see me go up with the griffin 
in the air. I mean, already in the air, but you know what I mean. The head goes yeah. It's up wind in the air. flare yeah. up. Just and then lightning from my dagger goes, goes and just like it arcs around my whole body and just goes. You, yeah, you sweep the dagger up over the air. It, it's an arc just uh, arcs shoot out from it. Then from the sky, lightning just strikes it as the uh, clouds are beginning to gather. So like Thor. Yeah, yeah. Like, kind of like Thor in that sense. Uh, I you just yell out. Your, your Come scattered, and get me, dragon fools. As your shadowy hood then comes up on around your head. Just and trails of smoke billows off from your uh, griffin. As you pull a Thor. Uh, you seem to have the dragon's attention. My idea was original, okay. I had no, I didn't even have a Thor in my mind. Just imagining the static electricity making all your fur just puff out. <laughs> he deals with that on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> Gosh. All right. Um, next, is that all you want to do? Are you also moving towards? Because you oh, yeah. I'm obviously second moving action and move. As much as I could. So, Which is not much on the big map. Um... So yeah, essentially moving there. Are we going in turn order? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go in a sort of loose turn, turn order. You guys tell me what you want to do with what you want to do with characters. All right, so- Do I see your reaction at all, actually? Yeah, the, the thing is mad as fuck. Fuck yeah. And basically roars at you just- uh, I want to peel off a bit with Elliot because we're like both really dark colored. And try and just like stealth around. Okay, so you two can make me a stealth check. Where are you gonna stealth towards? Are you gonna go just, left just or around, right? Just uh, around. Where's the dragon? The dragon is. Uh, it's just coming straight at. Um... Yeah, it's now coming straight towards Sandstorm. Um... Oh, yeah, I'll just hang off to the left a bit of Sandstorm, basically. Okay. okay. Uh... <laughs> Actually, if I, I'm going to say for sake of for sake of ease, I'm going to say you can use you can move four times your movement speed in, on in this situation, uh, just so you can actually get some places. Mm -hmm. So, guys, just for some narrative. So it's just not I move here. No, 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 no. no. There anything else you want to do with your turn there, Casimir? Uh, hmm. I don't think so at this point, except for trying to stealth up. Uh... No, that's okay. Okay. Yeah, we might make. Well, we're gonna make this some loose combat until like we get really get into it. Uh, Belvin, you're on your horse. Um, yep. We um, get to. Well, I mean, if I just move. Every single part of my movement, I can probably get. I think I can get to the start of that, the bridge into the thing. Okay, you bring in. That uh, is that is, uh, movement dash action. Okay. Everything. Um, so let's say you are, riding as hard as you can with the rest of the. Yep. Uh, rest the of the guards. Guard. Yep. They're um, riding as hard as possible and making and, going to be following um, you into town. So if you do want to go into town, you can. Okay, uh, yep, and what um, I'm going to do is... Alright. Guards, want to be splitting into two groups going to the left and right of these walls. I want you to find anything you can to take down these dragons in the sky. Bring them down to the ground. Sir! I yell at you. As you cross over the uh, bridge into Daggerford, uh, you know the Lady Luck Tavern, the tavern where you, uh, you met... Macath, uh, around about this time last year. Well, not, uh, yeah, around about this time last year, actually. Mm -hmm. In, in, no, no, in fall of last year. Uh, as you get into the town, you, uh, you see to the right, uh, to your right, a house has basically, um, gotten so ablaze that the fire has spread to the ground. It's collapsed down, blocking, uh, the path to the right and also pertains up the side of the, the 
uh, battlements and walls of the guardhouse tower. So it's basically take a left or go head first. You see that there are some people still in town making their way, uh, running away. Some people have also gathered, uh, made a bucket line of, or well, making a bucket train to try put out some of the fires. And then, you know, as, as, um, Belvin kind of got in and saw that to the right, he's just gonna be like, shit. All right. Uh, the group of you that were going right, I want you to, uh, I want you to go around and help the townspeople. Make sure they're safe. They get, they, sir, and then bank off. Uh, some of them get off their horse. Uh, and Tenex looks at you and says, in case of emergencies, women and children and uh, those who are unable to fight, make their way to the Juso Keep, to the, to the depth, to below it. Well, that is that is where I will go then, and that's where I'll be heading to. Okay, so you begin to make your way up the streets. Uh, there are people panicking, uh, and having a look around. Uh, Tanik, Aranis, James, and Jeff, uh, James and George are with you as well. Okay. They hand around to them. We'll say it's your turn. Tyrannicus. Uh I, I want I want um Arenas and George. Uh, they're the two I would have gestured to go look for um like hopefully they've got like ballistas and stuff. Okay. Oh I mean can I ask um Tarek then? For ballistas? Yeah, like you know, do you have any um weapons on the walls he points uh to the guard tower you just passed that was on fire it says there's one up there there's one smoldering down along the river there should be another one up at the field gate up on field lane if we take a left up here which is yeah this one that's here. all right yeah yeah cool. um should there shouldn't there be people stationed there right now i don't know um, Aranis, George, make your way over there. Give them support. And if there is no one there, take down these dragons. Sir! And they both break off, uh, going through the marketplace, heading towards the thing. So in, at, at the, at initiative count 10, they will get there. I'm just going to add them to the thing. Ne next turn? Yeah, next round. Okay. All right, Tyrannicus, this red dragon begins flying towards Sandstorm. It flies as fast as it can directly to you, towards you, and you say, just roars. Dare to steal my glory. It's flying in real close. You see... Um, this thing is untouched. Uh, at the side of your challenge, the Wyvern Riders have begun to close in and just tighten their circle above the dragon, being cautious. Uh, next up, Ikram. This is bloody tricky, isn't it? Um... Because my polymorph will be basically about to expire, mm -hmm. I might just land. <clears throat> tell Ik uh, tell Ikram, fuck, tell, tell Anki. I can't just kill a uh, best spell, can I? I have to wait till it runs out. Uh, it's concentration, is polymorph not? Yep. yep. Yeah. Oh, so as soon as I just want to cut it, I can. Yeah, you can flick it off. <clears throat> yeah, cool. So I might land, cut that off. Um, tell Anki to. Um, assist with Belvin where he can or if any of those wyverns or anything land go and fuck them up mm. um, and then I'm going to wild shape into a giant eagle 
All right, let's bring and then that just how much movement I can get out of that. All right, so with that, you should be able to. Uh, it's wherever you land, Anki. I'm not sure because there's a few different. Yeah, I'll yeah. oh, see. I was going to land him basically here, if I can. Yeah, you can land him there. You can sh shift yep. then into a giant eagle, and I'll bring out eagle crumb. Um, and then I'm not sure how much more movement I can get out of that because of all the steps. If there uh, is any. No, that's perfectly fine. You can move to where you want to move him to. We're going to keep it fairly, fairly loose. loose, fairly loose until you get into most more close um, court. I might hang over here then, if that's cool. Yeah, no I'm assuming as far as I can get. No. Should I be a bit smaller or? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be making you smaller. I'm just setting up. Your, I'm just cool. setting your HP. Yeah, he's close to the fucking eagle. <laughs> he's just close to the camera, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're just really high up in the air. Yeah. I mean, you are stoned right now. <laughs> yeah, why are you flying upside down? I'm breaking the fourth wall. Yeah, yeah, you are too. You like you want to show off to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. Ah. Um, I, I can't cast spells or anything while I'm a creature, can I? No, but if you do hit with an attack, you can. I think you can deal. Spend a spell slot to deal damage. I don't know. I'll have to just. Oh, that's okay. cool. I didn't know that. No, wait, no I don't I think so. You can spend. I know you can use a spell slot to regain. Uh, like to a spell you, you can attack as a. You can yeah. attack as an eagle, yeah. Wait, wait do, do I get that. life steal? Just no. Pekka. Yeah. Peck, peck the dragon. Your Pidgeotto. Use peck. Wing attack. Yeah, wing attack. Uh, I use fly. Well, you are See, flying. Okay. Fly yeah. is... You're, the attacks are going to count as non-magical. But if I use fly, I, I gotta, then, I then they can't hit me. Yeah, for one turn. attack does a lot of damage. Yeah, it's one turn attack. <laughs> All right. So, where are you flying to? Are you just going to fly to there? Yeah, I'll go to about here. Oh, actually, the dragon's pretty got his eyes set on Sandstorm, eh? Sandy. Yeah. Is this... Why well, over here? Um, are, they, are they kind of... Like, is he going to sort of like beeline nice. for here, or is, is he going to kind of like do these sort of things? Like, is that kind of what he looks like his trajectory is, or more yeah. of like a? He looks, yeah, he look doesn't look like he's going directly for Sansom. They're much higher above, probably about eighty feet above uh, the dragon's current flight path, which is about thirty feet above the rooftops. Yep. Uh, and they're more doing a protective circle. If anything's going to happen, if anything's really going to challenge the dragon, they're going to stand in. All right, I might jump there and then fly up to their level. If I can do that. It's at that point, uh, this guy up here, uh, you see that there is a armored rider on the back of the wyvern. You see him pull something, uh, this, uh, like a rein of some sort. I'm not entirely sure what the saddle setup is for a wyvern, but the uh, wyvern then banks and pulls to the side. <laughs> And makes its way towards you, uh, arching towards you. He's gonna go there, he's gonna go there, he's gonna be flying. Whereas oh, this cool. guy. How did you do that? Can I do that? Yes, you can. So you can click on your token, begin to move it, and then left and then right click. And it creates a, uh, a measurement, a rule. And then you can right click. Oh my god, again. this is sick. Oh my god, Ikram so fast. <laughs> so fast. I'm so happy right now. feet per second. <laughs> All right, Sandstorm, this dragon's coming in on you. He's still out. Of, he's still quite a bit out of range for your dagger. Coming in hot. What about your bow, though? Yeah, you I got like a massive at, range on that, don't you? Yeah, but not 550 there. I think it's 500. Sorry, Carl, when you said with the four, four. Yeah, um, like I got to do 350. Is the um? Long, is though? it only movement that are taking up those four turns? Like sure, I can't just say like fly okay. to old mate and then yeah, attack him. Sure, sure. you, you can say that if you want to do that, but you only get you will get two attacks. Sure, yeah, yeah, that's what I was just wondering. You can hit and run him though, because you got massive range. Mm. Um, how long can it, how f um the movement? What's the movement of the dragon? Did I see how far it moved? Uh, it seemed to be moving slower than the griffin. Okay. So, I am going to move in. I'm going to move in, what I want, 1 to 50, right? Wait, what? 
Well, if your range so you, is 320. I'm over 150 to get an exact range. <laughs> my bow. Your max range. So you fly on him, the griffin, right. you shift yeah. the dagger real quick and pull out the bow, load up an arrow, pull back, uh, measure in distance, and you're just like, okay, all right, we should be good to go. Ooh, does a 20 hit? You see, a 20, you pull back on the string, as the dragon sees, uh, sees the arrow coming towards it, it tries to bank, but because of his big, cl uh, clumsy form, an arrow shoo, straight in through the plate as it ruins. <laughs> the first thing to really, really hurt it tonight. Nice. Nice. It, it growls. Because uh, that's a magic bow, isn't it? I yeah. think it's class one, though. Yeah. It's actually a short bow of luck. I got two. I got plus one bow, but a short bow of luck is the bow. I, think. I thought they were both the same. <laughs> same thing. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was But in my thing, I somehow got two of, of both of me. I'm going to go in and delete the shit out of that. Fine. Yeah, I was like, when did that happen? Like, I'm going to go delete that now just so we can never have this conversation. <laughs> this happened before, hasn't it? No, it's happened I, six times. I think I added the plus one, but you added the luck. I didn't realize you added that. That's what it was. And I am going to second my second one. I'm going to. I can zoom in a bit more because everyone's on the same fucking. I wonder if I can hide. I don't really do anything. My top, my throwing is, is only like what sixty. Sixty feet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I end my turn in defense mode. With that one attack. All right. Cool. Let me just get yeah, a. Got him. But you did it. You got him. Uh, Belvin. Current course of action. What are you doing? Um, um actually, what is... It's the Wyvern's pretty close above you, right? But it, it's still, like, 120 feet above the rooftops. So it's a range of 120 feet from me, or just 120 feet up? From 120 feet up from the rooftops. The current building beside you goes up about two stories. Okay. Um... It's like 200 feet in total. Belvin's just going to keep running towards the, um, the manor. Okay, so let's say uh, with that expediency, you can make so your entire way up there with Tannic. Ooh. Yep, that's movement and some um, dashing. And... This is on horseback too, isn't it? Yeah, yes. you're on horseback. Uh, with that, you can see that people are taking sanctuary in uh, the Morning Glow Tower, which was the shrine, the Temple to Lathander. Uh, there are a couple of guards manning um, what seems to be uh, crossbow turrets up on top of the uh, the Ducal Manor. <clears throat> Archers have also are also standing along the lines of, of the manor as well. Although one tower is smoldering, this one here in smoke and flames. Okay. And how many um, how many archers on the wall? Uh, you can gather there's only a few silhouettes up there. Yep. Okay. Um, and is there is that so this where I am right now, that's not like a gate line or anything like that. It's just no, that, that, that's just the contour lines. Yeah. Okay. Um, and. But and yeah, that people, yeah that is a hill. There's people Sorry. making sanctuary in here. Making sanctuary in there, and also uh, as you go in there, people are running, are still running towards <laughs> up to the manor and into there. Well, it seems people with more of a. Uh, Fondness for religion, uh, f trying to f find their salvation in it. Um, well, that's as far as I can get, did you say? Uh, then pretty much just going to be standing there helping people along at the moment and, um, okay. I, mean, it, I can't really make yeah. a ready action or anything because I used it to dash. So. 
it's at that point that um, coming out of the temple, uh, basically barking orders, is Morwen. She is in a uh, half plate. She carries a great sword at her side. She has a uh, maroon cloak that drapes down to just around her knees, and she's sh- uh, shouting to one uh, to one individual and say, "Hurry up and get the women and children inside now!" God damn it. You, Melvin. She would not say that because I am. <laughs> that is right. No, he says, "You, Tannic." Yes, and then she draws, uh, looks at you, pulling a sword. Sorry, the whole yeah thing again. I guess, right. yeah. Sorry. Uh, she looks at Tannic and goes, "Tannic, what happened to Rivergard?" Um, and that's when Belvin will speak up. Riverguard uh, was attacked by um, a void dragon. A what? Doesn't matter. We have a situation here. And that's that's why we're here. We we um, of, of Riverguard have come to aid Daggerford. Puts her arm out to him. You say thank you for answering the call. Hurry up and do what you can. Is Lord Sandstorm here? He is. Um, and as Velvet looks back and... Can they see me in there? Uh, from the hillside that they're on, uh, they can see the dragon flying overhead to something that just had an arch of lightning uh, flash. <laughs> oh, they saw me. And, yeah, and so Velvet's just kind of looking that direction, just like more than likely over in that direction. She goes, good. Um, Get odds, his are, odds are the mm-hmm. others are going to be able to keep uh, the dragons and wyverns busy for a little while, but we need to make sure all the townspeople are uh, safe and accounted for before we can do anything. I have my best men and women on the job for that. Myself and Sir Isteral if he's still within the town, if he's still alive, we're going to take that dragon down. Well, we, we need to muster up as much um, uh, weapons, bows, anything to take it down out of the sky. You hear uh, hoof, uh, the sound of hooves against the uh, cobblestone <laughs> coming from the manor as riding on down in uh, full plate armor, full dressage uh, with a purple cloak is uh, Sir Istival. At his side, he has uh, what you know is his dragon slayer longsword at his side. And he looks down and says, Duchess, I'm oh, sorry, we need to find a way to ground the dragon. And uh, she looks at him and goes, of course. The ones from Riverguard have arrived. Any word on Bowshot? He goes, no, ma'am. Nothing yet. Nothing yet, my grace. And what's, what's, what is Bowshot? Looks at him and goes, hey, you knew this. It's a town to the south. Another Bannerman. There you go. You knew. <laughs> You could have just told me that was a town. Yeah, it didn't have to be a dick. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have asked it if it, I do. I don't think we've ever heard that name before, have we? Not really, no. Yeah, I mean, that's... <laughs> Actually, no, it's in the notes. It's in the notes, and I I know I said it. Which Ages note? Ago. It's in the, the handout. Of Dag- in, in the handout locations, Daggerford. Didn't you listen to the, the bloody audio book? Yeah, didn't you listen to the audio book? Clearly skipped geography <laughs> class. Yeah. <laughs> at, at that point, she walks past you, shoulder checking you. And says, come, come on, we have a dragon to hunt. She looks to um, Tannic and says, uh, Tell the men to gather as much rip as possible. Add him to the last remaining ballista at the field gate. We're going to harpoon this son of a bitch. I have, Force it to land. I have a couple of good men handed over to, um, there as well. Then get over there and make sure it happens. And she annoyingly walks, uh, jumps on the back of the horse with uh, Sir Istable. All right. Not recognize, really recognizing who you are. 
There's just some Dragon Ball barking. It's just a little bit different. There's, yeah. there's, there's no time to really explain anything, so, um, and we'll, I will begin to make my, my way down that way as well then. Okay, so we can say, we'll say you get on Farmer's Road, uh, as you rear your horse up and turn, as you get back on a horse, rear it around, make your way down along there as the Duchess goes into the city. Yep. Casimir. All right. Um, with the telepathic link, I'll just say to the others, um, we should avoid a, a head-on fight um, with these flyers. Just try and um, distract them, keep their attention off the guards as they evacuate the civilians. No. Who are you telling this to? You. How the fuck can you project that hard? Telepathic bond. This is the hour set. That's how I was talking. That's how I was talking to no. Belvin when I was in the sky. Yeah. Belvin, uh, so Belvin, Belvin minutes, uh, like, can communicate with us, all of us. Yes. Sounds unnatural. I don't believe Bel in it. It Belvin's isn't natural, gonna... it's magic. Belvin's going to convey... Therefore, no uh, effect. Doesn't currently, matter. Currently en route to uh, Ballista over uh, to the north. So where about today? Um, to the north. It seems to be the last Ballista. Wait, is that north? Currently. Yeah, that one. Okay. So north of to the left. There's an indicator it's easier. on the bottom right. Just say west. It's it, there's an indicator on the bottom right of the map. Bottom right. Who um. The what the fuck? <sighs> anyway. Um. Yeah. So can we communicate to just you, or between the four of you and your mounts? You and can... our mounts, yep. Eight of us. Okay. Um, but yeah. So I'm is it like I can gonna... talk to Brad or? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, but yeah, doing a group chat, like Zoom. Just yeah, I didn't know if it was like that or hey Honesy, can you tell Robbie? Yeah. yeah. And then can you yeah. tell Brad? Um, but yeah, yeah I'm yeah. conveying that I'm off to that, uh, which is the last ballista. Uh, just to let them know, and they they they've currently got set up a little bit of a defensive area in the manor, but that is where all the townspeople are going. So yep. we try to avoid that <laughs> as much as possible. See, I was going to try and just land this weight. My, my turn ain't wait. over yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just tell everyone to try and like keep your distance and lead them around. Um, try to avoid oh, okay. like head-on fighting with them while um, the blisters get set up. Just keep them distracted. Don't even want us to try and like get them on the ground. Just keep them distracted for now, and then oh. we'll, then we can lead them away to the blisters. Um. For sure, we would have picked up that um, dragon slaying arrow. Yeah, Sandstorm would have that. Yeah, in the back. Yeah, the Sandstorm did pick it up out of the hands of Brom. Yeah. Sandstorm, do you still have. Because. Is that a. Is the dragon that a bow arrow, yeah. Or is that a. As a bo normal bow arrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're just really strong yeah. somehow. The but, magic. Because I remember I didn't get it originally, and yeah, then, but then I, I got it off. It was like ridiculously big. I think it's just a normal arrow I read. It's literally just. It's just a magic arrow, isn't it? Mag it's a mag it's a normal arrow, but it's magic, so it does a fuck ton of damage. All right, so it it's the bow that enhances it because of the magical properties of the bow of the that's oh, been enhanced. Oh, I thought it was an arrow. Are we talking about the bow you dragon have? Slaying the arrow. Arrow? No, 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 the I'm talking about a dragon is, slaying yeah, arrow. That is that arrow that's been enhanced uh, okay, so it's not to, just... to kill dragons. It's not yeah, like a bolt, but, it, it, but it's anything. not like a, a big a bigger arrow. Uh, no, no, it's just got a very specialized he uh, no, no, arrowhead with runes engraved on. Cool, no, like no, 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 it's huge. That's what I was just confirming. It wasn't like a larger arrow that was made. Yeah, because you know, I remember big. I looked at it before, but it was too late. I didn't. I know mean, technically, most yeah. arrows are six hundred mil, but this would be probably about seven fifty. It's a little bit of a size. Six hundred million. I, I do. Mil. Like I remember when we first saw it, you described we it. We could like sell a, that. A bigger arrow than normal. Yeah, it's a bigger than big arrow than normal. But, but it's not like the size of a javelin. Okay, I wasn't sure how big you meant. No, right, okay. No, that's cool. That's clarifying. That way, um, Sansom can use it. Thank you for the reminder, by the way. <laughs> um, well, I mean, telepathically, it'd just be like, you made sure to bring yeah. that arrow, yeah? Yeah. You didn't, you didn't forget the arrow again, I... right? Oh, well, yeah. I don't worry. I remember this time. <laughs> good. Make good use of it. Fuck yeah. And then, yeah. So... So now I know he gets fucking damaged by a little normal arrow. Imagine a big arrow. All right. So I'm gonna. Kazmin, you are flying, uh, gliding low, 
um, along the castle, uh, just above the castle wall, sticking to the smoke. Now I'm going to fly over near the dragon, and I'm going to cast Bigby's Hand, which makes a giant spectral hand. But because now I have, like, a tentacle hand, it'll just be, like, these spectral tentacles <laughs> trying to, like, wrap and slap at the, <laughs> the dragon. Okay. As I goes flying over towards this massive uh, spectral tentacles just <laughs> hentires its way over to him. <laughs> and... Um, let's see. Thanks for that image. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to try and um, attack it. Okay, so here's some tentacles. All right, so what are you going to attack? How are you going to attack it? Holy with? shit! Uh, with the the forceful hand, so like the tentacles just sort of like bind together and just like slap it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and slap so, like one big tentacle. A bitch. Fuck. Okay, so <laughs> forceful hand. The hand attempts to push a creature within five feet of it to a direction you oh, choose. Sorry. Clench fist. That one. Clench fist. Ah, clench fist. Okay. So it's just an attack. Alright, so make an attack roll. I did. And I rolled a three. Uh, with that, the tentacles arriving, you have no idea how to use tentacles that are just spitting in the air towards the dragon. Uh, uh, banks on its wing just... Oof, misses it's still it within its range. Still within its range. As it flies past. Uh, if it tries to move yeah, you'll through, be able to, if it tries to, to move through the hand space, though, it's difficult terrain. Okay, so yeah, it uh, well because it's a miss. I'm just going to say it like just bangs to the side a little bit and just flies past, but it does get out of reach of the hand. As it then flies past and then goes up towards. Uh, straight up to the griffin and sandstorm you can see the uh head crest horns curl up back and around it's uh got this ash white uh beak plate over its maw with massive things that it uh look could look that could probably rip your head off as the dragon then rears up its wings flare back and and you see its chest begin to glow as its mouth does as well. As it opens up, it lets out a huge roar and just... <laughs> I need you to make a dexterity saving throw at disadvantage, Robbie. Uh, yeah. Uh, disadvantage. And I'm going to... Even at 20, how does that work at disadvantage? It's just one roll, I think. So then, it, then it'll just be a... Yeah, it'll just be a straight roll. Oh, yeah. I want to go for my luck. Disadvantage, dexterity saving throw. 17. 17. Alright, unfortunately, no, you fail. Oh. Still got evasion, though. Still, you still do have evasion, but where are you. Where are you going to How evade to? Work? Yeah, how does that yeah. work? It's a game mechanic. It is a game mechanic. I'll give you. you, jump I'll off give... The, you jump off your... If I jump off and then the Griffin can catch me again, is that a thing? I don't know. Let me read the exact. Go by exact wording. Why can't I see it? For evasion. Uh, click on the name; it will pop up. There it is. Blind. Remember, okay. it's not always realistic. Okay. So, you can nimbly dodge out of the way. Why not? Of certain effects, right, such as play. a red dragon's fiery breath. It literally says it. Yeah. When you are subject to effect, okay. All right. So, in in that regard, let's say you, uh, to evade, you, uh, dip in the saddle onto the side as you pull the griffin yeah. up. 
but unfortunately the griffin takes <gasps> a whole blast of no fun. that doesn't make sense no <laughs> it does it goes back in the pokeball that that <laughs> makes sense at least it does i don't want my griffin to die i'm gonna use my whole resurrection on my griffin guys if it dies. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 69, looking fast. As, oh, the dragon's, as the dragon's breath. Hey, episode 69 for 69. 69. As the dragon's breath just consumes the, uh, consumes the griffin. And after the initial blast, you realize that you are falling. Uh, the griffin's wings are singed, burned, and tucked in. You see its claws are tucked in, and it's not responding. It's just falling. Uh -oh. I am not within range to feather fall. It's, it's, it's falling. You're descending. You take half damage. The griffin is... I take no damage. What? I think... I, that... You didn't oh, you succeed. Failed the save, so you failed the save, so you take half. You failed the save, so you take Oh, yeah, you're right. Sorry. Shit. As the dragon's fire breath is let loose... No gobbles. And you're just like... Ah! Uh, yeah, you're rapidly descending... Do you do anything? Yeah, I pull my dagger out and be sad panda and throw it into a, a build, a, the wall, and then I teleport to that wall, and I feel sad about my life. All right, make an attack roll with the dagger. As you throw your dagger towards the rooftop, uh, as you go out from the flames, that is the still half-burning griffin collapsing to the ground. It sticks into a rooftop, um, and you, uh, you jolt on over there, just as you see, uh, your griffin just <laughs> crash and burn and land into the gravel, oh. motionless. That hurts. Fucking hell. Jeez. Literally instantaneous, I teleport and I just see the fucking thing. Well, I'm just gonna uh, be in shock right now, guys. Yep. And. Dragon with the rest of its movement is going to continue flying as it flaps its wing, right its body straight and snake-like as it begins to go up around and goes in a bit of a bank. In a way, making a sharp, sharp, clumsy turn, but that's the rest of its movement just to get to there. Uh, Ikram, you just saw a griffin go boom. After the dragon let loose a fire breath. Yep. Um, how how big are these wyverns? Larger than horses. Compared to me, are they like the same size, bigger, smaller? Yeah, I'm going to say about the same size as you, about the okay. same wingspan. If yours no, is not a bit larger. Okay. And did you say that um, the rider on the back pulled out a spear, was it? Or was it a bow? Uh, it's a crossbow. Crossbow, Kobe. Hmm. Hmm. Might say to Sandstorm, do you want me to swing down and pick you up? He's too busy being sad. <laughs> Robbie? Sad storm. Sorry, did you say something? I could not hear it. My planes are so fucking loud. I said, do you want oh, me to swing down and pick you up? Oh, like I thought I heard my name through the. It's not a plane. That's a dragon. Fuck is there lads tonight, dude? What the fuck? Sorry. Maybe a ten ten HP as well. Yeah. Sorry, say one more time. You want to you want to heal me? All right. So me... no. Do you want me to swing down and pick you up? Oh get him. Um, I'm or... pretty fucking. You can't. I, I'm just gonna not. I mean, we're all talking to each other, so. I'm close. I'm not. I'm not responding <laughs> right now. Closer, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. You're gonna get a t um. Fucking tiles. That's no, fine. Though. Tile, tile, tile. Dial. Yeah. So yeah, Sandstorm's just there looking at his wife. I'm just like, oh. Okay. Um. Maybe a ten, ten, is, ten HP, Ruby. So with the wyvern, is it What's flying like at me? Like, is it flying? Mm, it's going later. Almost like so. It's like its body is positioned like that, mm. or is it flying more like arc it's a... and sort of like casually coming over? Uh. Yeah. It's more slowly, cautiously approaching. Okay. Heading towards you. Um, I might. Like, oh, I've had it. 
and um, I'm going to try and see if I can <clears throat> somehow try and get it to smash into the ground. Whether like I like grab onto its wings with my talons and then just start flying nice. off the ground. Okay, making a you can with yeah, that. You can, that one. Just you can make. Uh, yeah, make a talons attack, and then we'll make a. So it's, t- it's essentially going to be a grapple as well, so... Yeah, so it's basically like, grab on, and then just start fucking bomb diving for the ground. Alright, so War Wyvern's going to make a check to try to break out of it, and with a natural 20, your claws, you do grab its wings, but as it oh, rips away off. its own, it does uh, tear its wings, and it's kind of has to flap a little bit harder to do it as it's now at half speed. Gotcha. Uh, and as Am you I f- able to multi-attack then if it does that? Or uh, sorry, yes. Continue. With that, yeah, you'll be able to multi-attack. Yeah, cool. What were as- you gonna say? Oh, I thought you were still flying away, but yeah, oh, go for a multi-attack. Yeah. Basically, yeah, that didn't work. So, and then I'm gonna. Oh. It's got a rider on its back as well. Yeah, I'm just thinking with. Take the rider. Yeah, with the beak. How big's the rider? Just uh, person size. Yeah, it looks like a human. I was wondering if I could like, pe- like try and like peck it, but like. Almost, Do you want like, to try and push him up? off? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> okay, make a strength check against him. Oh, shit! Sorry, I thought I was. Yep. No, actually, is that based off your strength? I believe it. Yeah. So that'll be that's good enough. That was just I just used beak. Okay, so beak's good <laughs> enough. It's, it's, <laughs> it's also beak. It's beak. So he's going to make a strength yeah. so like, saving okay. throw to ho- to uh, hold on. He looks at you and just goes, oh, damn, burn. But with that, he goes, oh, as you push him off the uh, straps that hold him in, break. And he goes, ah! Come on. Damn and he goes, he goes falling. As he's falling, you see he like kind of uh, pivots himself and you see he, a flash from one of his uh, gauntleted fingers and then he just lazily floats down. And lands safely, just like <sighs> looks up at you and readies his crossbow <laughs> and takes aim at you. We're like eighty feet in the air. Yeah, he's got he's got a real oh, big crossbow. More than that. <laughs> no, no, because he was eighty feet up, so I leveled off at the same height as him. Yeah, so it was still uh, <laughs> one. Yeah, um, still one. Eight, no, is it? It's two ten. So two he, ten he used feather fall. Two two ten is that what it was? Yeah, yeah, he used feather fall. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, he'd still be falling though, because it's sixty foot around. We're being very <laughs> lax with moving. <laughs> I know. Is that basically going to be the end of my turn, or can I do stuff with? Like, can I get Anki to move towards? <laughs> yeah, if you want to get Anki to move forward as I well, I can't actually can touch him. Anki can yeah. get into the town. I'll give you com- whatever uh, you give me. I'll take it. Yeah. I'm just gonna say to Belvin, there's a guy on the ground. If you- if you want to take him out and sort of tell him the general position, I don't know where he'd be on the roof. Would... Yeah, he landed on the roof. Roof, roof three. <laughs> yeah, the roof twenty. Three. You know that. <laughs> you know that he's on the roof of uh, Goldman's Cloth, a tailor, the tailor shop where um, originally Belvin got a nice outfit made. Okay, I'm gonna tell Belvin that. Yeah, Man, when these, he, tele- these telekinetic when he powers back. are awesome. I know, right? You're welcome. All right, and that so will end my turn. Oh, I'm right. lay down a trap card first. <laughs> yes, of course. You can, <laughs> you can land. Down. You can use a trap card. You can also fly away if you want. Yeah. Uh, nah. All right. So good. Just right. lazily hanging out. What's the range seat? on a crossbow? Out of curiosity. Is it 150? You're about to find out. Well, you're above 200. Actually, it's going to be a disadvantage because it's going to be out of range, sadly. So, let's see if it hits. Uh, And with that, yeah. Uh, Crossbow bolts go flying up through the air and you feel it stick into the side of your uh, giant eagle form for three points of damage and he's going to take another shot at you as well. That's ridiculous. What am I going to do with myself? And the second one goes flying off. Yes, he does reload. You're rolling pretty bloody good, mate. And that's it. 
That's him. Uh, Arenas. Name is so close to Anus. Are you mine, Alligator? Loads up. Is it really? You removed uh, like four less. <laughs> you know, you're not entirely Arenas. sure. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, sorry. Um, Where with is your... I can't even see him. Oh my god, he's over there. With the uh, help of uh, George, you see them pivot ballista towards the wyvern that's in the closest range, and they're going to take a pot shot. Nice. You're going to test it out. And what does a ballista have? Just a general Plus twenty. No. <laughs> Did you believe me for a second? <laughs> I never believe you. Uh, siege weapons. Oh, oh wonderful! I'm right on. Um, plus six for sixteen. Let's see if it's going to hit the wall weapon. It does. You see the ballista bolt go, uh, <laughs> flying. Into uh, flying through the air, even though it is at just a disadvantage. Did that hit? Hold on. It's a range on a ballista then. Actually, could be massive. It is. It is quite massive. Yeah. One hundred and twenty. Oh, is that, is that the short range? Yeah, that's the short range. What's the long range? For six hundred. That's oh, definitely. Yeah. Just That's in range. range. Yeah, only just in range. You've used that against us before, Carl, so you can't. I've used that again. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Uh, we'll continue to use that against you as the arrow goes in and hits. Got it. As the uh, wyvern then <laughs> cries in pain. Uh, next up is Sandstorm. You're on a rooftop. Okay, uh, I'm gonna run over to Gobbles and see the status. You see the saddest. The saddest little. Do I have to roll for that? Tell me how you feel. Uh, I see it and I um, see Gobbles and it's not looking good. Uh, I feel horrible. I tried to get out of the way. Well, I did get out of the way. I guess it was going to be both of us or just gobbles. And I, um, I had in the split second, that's all we could have done. Um, so I'm going to do what I can to try to heal him back out. Okay. Of what's left. Is there signs of life? <laughs> Is there anything there? Make a medicine check. Oh, are you there? Cobbles? From the impact and the contortion of his body, uh, you believe Gobbles uh, died from the impact. From the impact, so Gobbles was burning alive. Gobbles was, bur was burning alive as it was falling through the sky. Um, possibly unconscious, but you're not 100% sure in Gobbles the moment. This. But Gobbles... Uh, uh, I'm gonna leave Gobbles where I. I remember where I, where Gobbles is. I'll come back. Can everyone put an F in chat for Gobbles? F in chat for Gobbles. I can't take this. I know I'm just gonna go. Fuck. My um, sadness has turned to anger quickly. And I look up at this dragon. This one right here. And I calculate how far away. I don't know how far away it is. Um, how far away is that? Uh, the dragon is, let's say, 360 degrees, but uh, diagonally up in the air. Okay. Away from me. Just for 360 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> I knew what he meant. I knew what he meant. You, you, could, have over that. Yep. you could have passed over that for him. You knew what he meant. <sighs> uh, I knew what you meant. I'm going to get in range. Can I, am I out of getting range? I, I you, yeah, you'll have to you'll be have to like do a big dash and run a bit up. Uh, you have this road is deserted basically by yourself as this okay. dragon is flying away. That's clear line sight. You know what I mean? 
clear line of sight, and I think of gobbles, gobbles silver wing was it? Solar wing. Solar wing. And I go, and I just look, and I go behind, and I go, I grab an all arrow, and then I'm like, no, let's let's this one here a little bit thicker this arrow. And I pull that one out, and the sun shines on it, and it's there. Glues in the firelight. And I pull it back and go, this is for you, Gobbles. Boom, nat 20. I fucking launch this thing <laughs> right. Nat 20. So considering it's the dragon is still technically out of range. You so it's in range. He's got well, in, in, in range to... Oh, yeah, that is correct. My gosh, I am so sorry. Thank you so much, boys. How much range do I... Was, do I, I... No, he thought you were a disadvantage. No, no, I have 320. Don't I? Because you have a sharpshooter. You don't get disadvantage on the long range. Yeah, that is correct, yeah. actually. Yeah, thank you. All right, so... Uh, roll your arrow just so we can see the initial damage. Uh, okay. He's not going to know what it does. I know. <laughs> I don't know. Belvin never told me. He just fucking said... Belvin, Belvin doesn't know what it does. No one does. We've just been told it's a good against dragons. Plus 600. Dragons. We, we, we have a wizard that can use Identify, don't we? Yeah, fuck it. This is all for the um, show, right? We'll find out. Plus 6 to that. And then whatever the arrow slaying is, plus crit of that. What? Wait, why is that plus 6? Because crit. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Sorry about that, thank you. Uh, let's see. All right. Quick math. So you see this arrow go flying through the air. As, as it launches from your bowstring, there is a release of air pressure um, as, it, as it launches through it. Just, <laughs> just soaring towards it, and it kind of gives off a bit of a whistle. And it's going to make a constitution saving throw. There's like a GoPro footage of it on on the arrow. <laughs> Where, as the arrow goes flying through it, it goes up into the rib cage, just uh, into the stomach, lining up and probably breaking a couple of ribs as it hits. Yeah, that's a perfect shot if you're playing um, Deer Hunter 2000. Just, you see a flash of energy and light as the arrow goes deep within going past all of its natural defense i need you to roll me 6d10 6d10 plus 60. Uh, don't mess with fucking gobbles can't let me find the quick key but 6d20s was it 6d10 <laughs> i know I just... what, how does that work on a crit hit though i'm saying yeah. for the large amount of damage it's just the roll Let's just do well, like, let's do that one at a time, shall we? Let's not do that one. At the only time, time it doesn't crit normally. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit, isn't it? This is for gobbles. Uh, it, this is for gobbles. It, it, makes, it makes sense. Ah! The initial hit is for crit. Uh, crits on sneak burst. attacks. He crits on smites. Yeah, but that's <laughs> because that's him doing the attack. The magic part is the arrow. Because the initial piece. Oh yeah, do I get on a flame arrows? Guarantee, if you were shooting, you wouldn't be saying that. I probably would still say that. This is for gobbles. Guys. Yeah, this this is this is the magic from the arrow, not from the hit. Yeah, exactly. Because he failed, the, the dragon failed to save. Yeah. It now it then takes yeah. some damage. One, two. I named it the Gobble Arrow. As I started. You need, you need to roll two more, Robbie. Ah, uh, shut up. You know you can roll it all at once, right? He knows. He knows. You can just roll like slash r space six d ten. So I couldn't hear anything. To continue. Slash r sp space yeah, six d ten. Yeah, but I just quick and it only goes up to five. So I didn't do want to do five and one. I just went. I want to make it look good. Do two, two more, please. Oh, it's two more. Oh, six. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, six d ten. Yeah, I just suspense guys. Oh, above average scores. Okay. Average scores. For an extra 36 points of damage, uh, the dragon roars an incredible amount of pain. 
uh, for what is for six plus nine for fifty one points of damage. And with that, you hear the dragon cry in pain as it then sharply banks and begins to fall, twist and turn within the air. It roars. <laughs> as it goes then crashing down into the streets. You see a, Good. a pile of smoke as a... Uh, the buildings crumble and collapse as it, as it crashes down into the high road uh, in a severe amount of pain, you can only guess. That is very good. I wanted to continue. And everyone hears that. And as you pop your bow down and take in a breath, just... <sighs> Kazmin, you see a dragon crash. We will pick up this next week. Uh, in Dragons Brew, episode 70. Episode 70. We got past 69 about too many. I probably just missed that whole thing. I just fucking one shot that fucking dragon that killed Gobbles. Oh, he didn't did one shot him. He just crashed. Did you Fuck use your. He's not I used, he, he used his dragon trying. arrow and I fucking and said, awesome. I'm, I'll throw all my D20s if I had to. And I was nice. making sure. Barking yeah. did not kill gobbles. It's all right. but as, I would have been here earlier, but my fucking I ended up spilling my tea everywhere, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "I've done it. Keyboards can take, but so I've done that a few yeah. times." That one's Rickham. But yes, um, <laughs> thank you very so much life. for joining us tonight. Uh, I, how would you guys think of the session? We will. I'm actually scrolling up to change that right now. What you guys? What did you guys think of the session tonight? Was it nice to come back into oh, um, straight back to chaos? Like, come we on. had a it slow a... start. Yeah, it was pretty slow. That was a normal start, to be honest. For sake of an hour of us oh. doing nothing. <laughs> Hold on, for sake of expediency, dude. It's been like fucking a month. Yeah, I know. For sake of expediency, how about we do with? Uh, would you say? Hold on. Would you say that everyone would go chasing after the dragon at this point? What would everyone be doing at this point? Because with the dragon crash, crashing... As soon as next... that dragon hits... As soon as I see the dragon going... Belvin's yeah. fucking gonna get Belvin yeah. is making his way to that dragon. Oh, make it suffer, Belvin. I was gonna I'm gonna say Belvin's mine. Make it suffer. I'll say that. How far away is Belvin? Can the dragon get up in time? Find out next episode. <laughs> dragon and as the dragon is like just breathing fire all around this area, making a burning stockade of just hellfire, just blocking off everyone. Um, like, if you guys wanna wanna get there and just say you all get there roughly at the same time, we can do that. We'll sort that next episode. We'll next sort that episode. episode. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll sort out next episode. Anyway, thank you, uh, friends, foes, and familiars, for joining us tonight for Dragons Brew D and D. I am your host, I am your DM, Dragons of Cats. It's been wonderful to play with you all again, my wonderful, wonderful dragon slayers. Um, we'll catch up next week. Thanks for the donations M and follows. Yeah. Thank you. Massive, massive thank you to Viridian Knight and for arming our heroes the tools yes. they need through the donation. Thank you so much, you glorious, yeah, wonderful thanks, so Shuggy. Help me kill that. Sugar pick, go. Sugar pickle. Thank the sugar pickle. The church of sugar pickle. The one, the only sugar pickle. One and only sugar pickle. Uh, thank you so much for the raid as well. Uh, I still yes. Thank you so much. And for the follow as well. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, hey guys, what do you reckon about what do you reckon about a raid? I reckon raids are fun. Let's do a raid for someone. Unless it's on our place. Who are you raiding? Who are we raiding? Well, let's raid myself. What? That's... <laughs> Well, actually, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We'll raid ourselves. <laughs> Great. Does that happen? What are you talking about? What, <sighs> what do you mean? Right. What do you, you explain? <laughs> what do you mean? Kyle, are you on the drug? <laughs> are you on the drug? What do you mean? I am on the drug. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, just one. Explain. explain. Please explain. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean? Kyle's no? losing his mind. <laughs> yeah. Are you streaming, <laughs> are you? You know, it was about time. Like, it was just a matter of time. Are you streaming? <laughs> he finally cracked. Yeah, I finally cracked. Are you saying you want to stream, dude? <laughs>
So, yes, I say I'm on the stream. So we're gonna go raid all my. Literally, cave. just like not just tell people to stay where they are and not raid. Kyle's mind has done a full 360. <laughs> Uh, I, it's late. Out. I've been I've been awake since joke. five a.m. <laughs> you get the reference now. But yeah, you didn't have to bring help. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what he meant. Leave us. I know what he meant, but it's hilarious. Thank you so much for joining us. Dragons <laughs> of cats next week. Uh, Join on in. You can catch me not this weekend on Vice, but give some time for the outro. That. Okay, Kyle. Um, we need some outro. Till then, keep rolling twenties and enjoy a little bit of a. Cool down outro. Goodbye. Yeah. Enjoy our outro. You may not see it much, but yeah. you'll see it yeah. now. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.